Good. Cool. Hey, what's up, everybody? We're here. Welcome, welcome, welcome to a live game over here on Obsidian Brews. Yet again, we are Obsidian Brews, a collective of black tabletop creators, DMs, performers, beautiful people that you should love. Yes, do it. Yeah, come on, bring it in, bring it in. Yeah, oh, that felt so good. Um, but yeah, we're here. We bring making space for more people of color, uh, black people of color to come tell stories, and we have a story for you today. I am Robert Madison II, also known as Mad Doctor Rob on the Everywheres. I am your director of gaming and humble map maker and DM for today. And I have the greatest of fortune to have a selection of brilliant, brilliant people, my, my friends, my, my friends, that I really wanted to run through this uh, little adventure with me. And because they are the stars of the show, I will let them introduce themselves. And I will start with our fearless leader over here at Obsidian Brews. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, yeah. well, hey. Hello. Hi, everybody. Uh, and welcome to Obsidian Brews, run tonight by the amazing, the fearless leader of our map-making emporium, uh, Mr. Rob. Mad Dr. Rob, thank you so much. I'm introducing you while introducing myself, clearly. Um, my name is Bendy Mitchell, also known as Bendy Dinosaurs. I'm one of the leaders of Obsidian Brews because we are all leading this charge together. And I'm really, really excited to be here. Um, yeah. Heck yeah. Okay, I'm throwing it. Uh, I'm throwing it right on over to to our dear friend Christian over there. I think you're beneath me right oh, now. Yeah, I, oh, yeah. Hi, hey, I was not expecting to get called on so quickly. Hi, everybody. Hi, my name is Christian, aka Fluffy Gooba, all over the internet, mainly on TikTok and Twitch. I am a teacher RPG performer and educator here in the space. Uh, I'm in a lot of games. If you want to check out any of the games I'm in, uh, some of them are with these lovely, some two of these lovely folks out uh, here. Uh, if you want to check those out, just check out my link tree. Uh, it's all there. Uh, and hey, uh, if you're if you're a POC or bi uh, BIPOC and you like Star Wars and you want to uh, uh, bring more BIPOC into Star Wars, there is a sign up sheet for a two day uh, uh, event uh, I, I am organizing. Uh, it doesn't have a name yet, uh, but uh, if you want to play TGRGs and BIPOC and you want to show that the, the 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 palm people that we exist and we can you can't stop us, uh, sign up. Uh, it's gonna be great. It's in my, it's in, it's pinned in my, uh, my, my Twitter. So amazing. Uh, Laura, tell us who you are. The, the, hi, hello, good evening. Uh, you can call me Laura or Tutu or Laura Tutu. Um, you can usually find me on the internet as some iteration of Laura underscore Tutu. You might just have to throw an underscore at the beginning and the end of that. I am currently on loan from the fine folks over at Queensport Games. Um, because I'm taking a break from giving V and Aaron headaches, so now I'm Robin Bendy's problem. Problem isn't the word that I'd use. No, <laughs> you say that now. Thing. You say that now. Never Gift, a problem. delight, joy. Those are words I'd use. Wonder. <laughs> Wonder. Uh, 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 buddy, um, our, our dear Matt, go. Hey, how's it going? Matt, uh, Res Monk Walker and uh, Samurai Walker X and various interwebs. Uh, yeah, I'm here to have fun. Play, uh, Point of Ranger. Awesome. Well, yet again, thank you. I am Mad Dr. Rob. Uh, we'll give you, let me give you the spiel, the intro spiel. So, uh, this game uh, is Feywild themes. Uh, so, we're going to be running throughout the Feywild. It's going to be awesome. Uh, all of the maps that you will see today, including the backgrounds we have. Uh, we have up uh, all of the maps you see throughout the things I've made. Uh, so you can enjoy them, see how they are utilized within the gaming space. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to do this show. Show a little map, how maps can in, uh, heighten your gaming experience. Um, oh, right. Thing that I'm doing for Obsidian Brews. Uh, 
I was going to do it at the end of the month, but you know, Easter. So we're going to give it another week, April 7th. Uh, if you would like to be in a game, just a regular home game, doesn't have to, not live, just nice little cozy setting online. Uh, you can sign up over at start playing. Uh, cause I will be your DM and you can be in a game with me for a fun little adventure little self-contained little wackiness that i created that i really hope you guys come play and enjoy because it's very silly and very fun and you'll be fine everything will be fine trust me but uh with that uh as i said all the maps you will see except for one you've probably seen before on one of my map making streams come join us uh periodically for a Monday maps with me, my Dr. Rob. Um, but I think, do we have anything else? I don't think we have anything else. I think we can just roll into it. So with that, let's roll into our game, Fervor of the Forgotten Feywild. Greetings, adventurers. And by adventurers, I mean you out there. Welcome to the land of Rukhlin, a melanated land in the heart of the Autumn Court here in the Feywild. The Feywilds, as you know, are a place of vibrancy and life, nature and feeling, magic, chaos. The lands here are very much alive and you may want to be a little careful because depending on how you feel in the Cohen moments can turn a sunny day into a stormy night. It's being in the Feywild's magic, just in general, it is. It's born of magic, born of the essence, and born of so much wonder, but I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Let's start at the beginning. A group of scouts, hunters, going through what should be a routine run with Fay Wilds, tracking a beast, running back to the city for a feast, nothing difficult. The four of them spot the creature right there through the woods. It bounds off. They give chase. They cut through the dense foliage. They begin to lose it, but they should be, it's right there. They should be able to find it. And then they find themselves in a clearing, standing in what can only be described as a beautiful temple, or what once was a beautiful temple, now lying in ruin. The stone walls of the place covered in vines and moss the glass dome on top is clearly broken and looks like fallen inside. A structure like this should never, ever be in such disrepair. Something must, something must be wrong. Some, well, something should be done, really. Everybody knows which spirits these temples go to, so angering the wrong spirit can make things a little bit problematic. leader of the group tells him to hold and goes closer to look and stares at the symbols but doesn't recognize them it this is weird it, it looks too this place looks too new to be so broken and looks too broken to, and too new, really, to have been so easily forgotten or something. But as this leader steps forward, a uh, step, two steps, reaching out his hand to brush some of the moss away from the inscriptions on the wall, they all hear us. Whoever to me. 
your attention to all suddenly grasp as the ground begins to shake. Footsteps. Heavy. They have to go. They have to leave. They all know they have to leave. They turn and run. And they only get three steps before ah! one of their own is snatched. Trapped into the forest. The rest take off into a dead sprint. They have to get back to civilization. The head scout, fastest. He's the leader, but he knows that he needs to get these guys back to civilization. He, he runs, he takes point, he keeps going, and he runs for what feels like hours. The forest writhing with anger behind them. He doesn't turn back, even as he hears the sounds of their teammates being grabbed and dragged back into the wilds. Until he makes it back. That is the story that you all are presented with as you stand in one of the hearing rooms of the court. A male, a male scout looking down sullenly after having just told you what he experienced. Uh, a court, um, you know what? Let me show you what room that you guys are in. A throne room. A more of a meeting room, but a large green, uh, a green and wooden throne sits one of the leaders of the overwatching enclave of this land. You are all standing on a massive wooden centerpiece. Uh, with a bunch of carved inscriptions, uh, carved symbols that looks to have just been inlaid in this ground, but it's different. It's not just all stone. There's grass here. There are trees growing. There's a fountain. It's honestly kind of ostentatious, but it looks kind of cool. Well, as I said, you all are here at the behest of one of the leaders of this enclave. You all know her. Only as Bishop. So it seems that they have found a temple of some sort in the high woods west of here. Strange forces dwell in the area, and, you know, we've sent out some of our scouts to take a look, but at least one of them were lost. So, I've gathered you all uh, to go. Um, typically, I would send more, we gather more soldiers, more guards, but we don't want to alert the people. Celebration is this weekend, and we all know that the people really need this. <sighs> These temples are supposed to be for honoring the wilds and honoring the spirits that bring life to this land. They all should be careful, restored to their former glory and kept. I ask of you all, please, go find what has happened, make sure this place is safe. And if you can do anything to prepare it for its restoration, please do so. We cannot, we cannot let any of the ferocity of the forest reach here. Have the Fey Wilds lose its temper could be catastrophic for the people. As you stand here, I think now is a good time for you all to describe your characters. So I'm going to go 
as I see you on my screen, not necessarily as you, the audience, see them around, because I don't remember what it looks like, ha ha ha. Um, we're going to start with Christian. Hey, that's me. Uh, standing before, you said Bishop? Mm-hmm. Ah, curious. Uh, standing before uh, uh, Lady Bishop, um, uh, you see a, a turtle. Uh, this turtle looks like, if I had to describe an animal equivalent, it is an African spur tortoise. Uh, so he's uh, very thick scaled or uh, thick shelled with ridges that are, are like spiraled, like um, how tree, was it tree trunks spiral to show age. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're very thick and dark. Uh, he's got like a, a cobblestone like scaling on his arms and legs. He's wearing, well, it looks like almost like Navy or Imperial uh, looking garb. Um, but he's uh, wearing a shield that has a beautiful depiction of almost this this feminine Kraken figure on the front of it, uh, raising hell on the ships above with a serene-looking ocean below them. Um, and he, he's just staring at, uh, at, at Bishop like chewing on uh like chewing on something just uh as as they're going on with their spiel of um what needs to be done for what purpose for who um yeah that's that's Cervantes is his name Cervantes Drake is that Matt would you please describe yourself? You are muted, sir. Oops. There we go. Cool. Yeah. So currently, you see a guy with a note a notepad. It looks to be a court scribe in fancy attire. Um, his hair is pulled back. Uh, he's got like gold and silver streaks in there, and some glasses, and he's taking notes. Uh, he has a nice bag on, and uh, he has kind of like a raw umber, dark mahogany kind of skin um, with uh, red eyes. Um, and uh, he doesn't look like he's ruggedish. He's got a very clean cut at the moment, um, but he does have a, a dagger on hand. Um, and he's just like got a few books, and he's just keeping notes of everything, like he's planning out a course. Uh, my character is Curdes. He is a ranger. He looks like a human, but looks like there's a little bit too more to him. Uh, a little dark, but a little, uh, slight paleness to him. His ears are a little bit pointy. Curdes. Bendy. I'd say kind of... Uh hovering floating in the air next to uh i just blanked on the name of curdes so kind of like floating next to curdes is a small fairy um with long twisted uh copper brown hair um kind of a lighter um skin tone of um a little bit of like umber skin tone but a little bit lighter and uh, she has periwinkle eyes as well as a um, gold lined periwinkle colored cape um, that's kind of obscuring a little bit of um, the back of her hair. Um, she has bits and baubles attached to her that, you know, can tell that this one likes the like shiny things. And little tiny dagger that would be like nothing more than a pinprick to someone but you know it's it's prominently displayed on her waist and she isn't exactly paying attention to bishop she's more uh paying attention to the shiny um possible stealable thieving things that she can thieve 
on um, anyone that's surrounding Bishop. So her eyes are kind of flitting to each one, kind of surveying, like, who's got something worth taking right now? I don't really mind much about temples and whatnot, but that is quite a shiny thing you've got there. Uh, so I'm kind of not sure what's going on at the moment. <laughs> Interesting. While we check in on Laura, give me give me a perception check. Give me a perception check, Periwinkle. What was that, Laura? A perception check, got it. <laughs> uh, well, on, on the other side of Periwinkle is uh, a male Aladrin. Um, medium brown skin, blue eyes that are very bright and very icy, um, and white hair um, in a real, like, nice clean fade. Um, tips of it almost colored like um, like a very old glacier, um, so blue and gray and black. Um, standing there in a very, very respectable doublet, trousers, cape, uh, loot across his back, um, and is mostly paying attention, um, but is equally distracted by the fact that periwinkle's wing keeps like buzzing right next to his ear mm -hmm. um <laughs> so Joachim is trying really hard to focus on what's going on right now and not having the best time oh oh yeah of course you're like just going off in that ear <laughs> Over like and every over. once, every once in a while, he'll reach over yeah. and like sort of grab the the back of the cloak and just move her over a little. <laughs> but I keep moving around; like I can't just hover in one spot. Like I'm like ADHD, like moving back and forth. <laughs> like like the, little, the little D <laughs> DVD icon on the TV. Yeah, hundred percent. I'm DVD iconing between the two of them. <laughs> That's a 10 on perception, by the way. Oh, that sounds awful. I'm sorry. That's just, <laughs> oh, God. Um, there are shiny things that are, that the guards around have. Uh, they tend to be the ends of weapons. Mm. Um, but they are, sh they're really shiny. No baubles. I can't spot anything kind of dangling off the edge of a web or uh, at the hilt. They have like little bags, like probably some bags, maybe like a old sack of coin or something Ooh. like that. Maybe some pockets, but they're also, uh, you all can see that all of the guards in this space are located on, by the doors, by its side exits, and then blanking Bishop. Now, there are also some other advisors uh, around uh, listening and remark, you know, give, giving small remarks uh, throughout this. Um, and uh, one of the uh, advisors, um, do you have any, any, any questions while you're here? Because we are, we will be sending uh, scouts and actually this one with you all to make sure you can locate it uh i'm surprised going back considering um well last time didn't go so well for him yes and he just sort of looks down yeah uh i it should have it <sighs> No, I, I kind of does a sound of bravery. It's very bravery you to do that. I can't say. I mean, I'm, I don't want to get lost in these these damn wilds. And if someone knows the way, I'm not gonna say no to that. It's. Uh... What was the name of the temple? We're going to a temple. Or the name of the area you found? Did you have you get a name of, or do you remember some of the words on the? Uh... We brushed away that moss, you said? Mm. Give me an insight check. I'm like trying to peek hard at the notebook, like in class, trying to like, wait, where are we again? You basically like landed on it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, just oh. like, I'm just on his forearm at this point. Just like... One of seven. <laughs> uh, you see him, uh, the scouts. Or... 
I don't remember. It was, I went to get a better look. There a lot of moss and vines had grown over the words. Um, and then the shaking and then, then, we, then we had to run. We had, it, we, that was the only way any of us were going to make it out, I, th I think. Moss. Did you see anything attack them? Oh, well. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, one, uh, the first, uh, Pete, he got uh, a vine, like, was grabbing him and pulling him into the oh, you say. woods that we ran after that. I don't know what happened to the others. Hmm. Well, hopefully we don't find out. Well, if we do find out, we're not in the middle of being pulled like that. That just doesn't sound fun. Um, and the other advisor goes, yes. Uh, this time, do make sure that everyone in your company comes back. That is the plan. Yeah, no, yeah, don't don't rag on man. It is going to circular. He came back. Circle around the guy and look him up and down, see if he sees anything. Uh, with that insight check, not really. He's kind of like he has been relieved of all of his regalia. Oh, okay. So uh, else. At yeah. this point, um, so he's sort of just standing there. Uh, and he's just in regular clothes, gotcha. Yeah. Oh, they 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 done did just demote some him. guy. <laughs> they done did demote him at, to, to, to hell. <laughs> they they, they kind of brought him down to just dude status. Wow. Oh, damn. <laughs> they ran his pockets. <laughs> you you <laughs> fail. You fail once. Live to tell the tale and fail once, and they, they done. tired. But they they are they are sending him back out with you. They they will give him his things back. He just uh, uh he, I I need some time to probation. Gotcha. Uh, make sure I can uh, have all of my things ready, and I can meet you uh, on outside on the uh, the edge of the city before we can. It should only take me about an hour. That's fine. I, I would need. Similar time to get ready. Hey, take take all the time you need. Uh, pray. Do what you gotta do. I understand. Thank you. Um, actually, all the rest of you, give me insight checks as this as he sort of speaks to you all. That's a 21. Nice. Uh, oh, dirty oh. 20. Nice. See, we got good rolls. You're fine. 16. Everything's fine. Look at this. With those insights, something interesting is noticed by you all. When he was trying to recall the temple, When Kurt, when Kurt is like, oh, do you, what do you know about the temple? What do you remember seeing? What is, what is it that we can remember? Like, what you, can you glean from your memory? As he tried to recall something, it you all saw in his head, yes, I can. No, I can't. Like, there is an active gap. Can I do an arcana check on him? Sure. What are you looking for? Um, if there's any magical reason as to why he would have those gaps mm. in his memory. Okay. Okay. Arcana. Uh, similarly, while he's speaking, um, could I go in with a detect thoughts? Hmm? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, are you, so you're going to cast detect thoughts and go in? Yeah, I just, you know what, like, it's one of those things like he the words are coming out there could be something in that little noodle of his mm. that is just sort of pinging around that he is unable to grasp mm. not i'm not being malicious about it it's just like i you know what and if it'll make if it'll make him feel are better you gonna ask him <laughs> i will ask you know what fine i will ask 
permission. Uh, I, I, I guess you aren't the first one to to do that. Um, oh, yeah. I think she yeah. can't. She thinks you don't have put the words together properly. It happens. I guess. And so you cast the tech bots. Mm -hmm. But I'll let oh. I'll let Bendy get the the Arcana off. Oh yeah, that's just a ten. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Ooh, with that, not it's possible. There's are there are. I'm like, um, yeah, I got, got nothing. You're really close to him, and he's like, oh, uh, okay. Um, there are many magical things that could do that. Stop bringing but, in his face. Uh, at this point, you just see a confused man just mm -hmm. looking at you. Uh, you can't quite glean any arcana off yeah. of that. Um, While I'm in his face, <laughs> does he have any earrings? <laughs> oh, good grief. Uh, <laughs> no. No, he does not. Okay, thank you. Um, it do Give me... Give me a luck check. Roll a d20. Just tell me what you get. Just a d20? Roll a d20. Tell me what you get. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. That's a eight. <laughs> no, he doesn't even have any like piercing marks on it. Like you, you're, okay. you, were, you sort of like are checking his face, like maybe a nose ring. No. Mm. Mm -hmm. I burnt no ears. Uh, he doesn't. He seems like not the not the type. He does. You know, he is more elven. His ears are longer and pointy. Uh, but he does not seem to have any accoutrement on him. Okay. Uh, Joaquin, as you are cast detect thoughts, the first things you're getting are, uh. The immediate waves of shame, of loss, of like, oh man, I I, I failed my friends. Um, I don't know what happened to them, but I'm glad I made it back to tell people. Hopefully I can get help. That's like, that's why he's here. That's the only reason why he's doing all this. Um, as you are peering deeper... How do you like to do, how would you like your detect thoughts to work? Would you like this as an insight check to keep going into him? Or would you like to search this like a library and do perception? Let's go for insight, because I'm slightly better at that. And insight um also this poor guy it's gonna it's gonna feel a bit like um brain freeze just a little just for just for a second it's like just uh sorry in advance um keep breathing you'll, you'll be fine huh he's voluntarily oh dead. for pete's sake that was almost a natural 20 but no that's a seven i'm um, sorry um as you start to peer in and you're casting your detect thoughts and you're reaching out into his mind. You all, the rest of you see him exhale and his breath is just cold. Like you see the frosted breath. Hmm. And Joaquim, you know that you are in, you are looking. And you're trying to read the pieces of him. Like you're exploring uh a dungeon of thoughts and you don't get what so far in where you can literally you're just seeing bits and pieces mm -hmm. of what he just told you and you get to the part where you would see the temple and he immediately turns focus and you don't see it anymore and then he would look back in what should be a temple the words are there, and it feels like it's starting, trying to construct a thing, but... And right as something were to... Like, it feels like maybe his brain is starting to crystallize something. Um, give me a wisdom saving. 
Ah, crap. Well, now that's a natural 20. That's very good. Because it feels like something sneaks up behind you and yanks you out of his brain. Ah! You you good there? You okay? Uh, what happened? It, is 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 homeboy okay? He's just standing like he's just standing there, and you see the last bits of the icy breath come out, and now it's back to normal. Okay. So did you there's, there's did you some... did you find? Um. Mm, um. Mm. But... Something did not want me there. Something pulled me out. That very rarely happens. The advisor, this is why we would be sending others to watch him. Hmm. He sort of snarls and walks back. And you see behind where Bishop is sitting, it's like a overhang of vines of various colors like yellows and like looks like fall colors on the outside of yellows and reds in the middle of deep verdant green as if the middle of like the peak of spring right before it hits summer mm -hmm. and that uh advisor snarls we're watching you know I mean, I'm going to get the others, and he walks walks through the vines. I mean, he sounds like a victim. I don't, I don't know if, if I um, <laughs> if he sounds, he sounds like he he's in trouble. Like that, not like he's on. There's a problem. Like, a problem happened to him. So I'll go off, I guess. Can I roll to see if I've seen something like this before? Yes. Give me a history check. Can I roll a religion to see if, like, if Ooh. there's a, if there's a god Ooh. or an entity? Yes. Yeah, Bruh. Oh my god. Bruh. Bendy, can you go get some physical dice? <laughs> I I just might need to switch to physical oh, nope. dice. I don't know no god, no nothing. What? Wow. 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 That was two natural ones I'm in a gonna, row. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm, do the smart thing. I'll open a book. I'm gonna uh, refresh a page. I'm gonna refresh this D D V R yeah. page. I would quick. like to say for the record that I just rolled a physical D twenty and it was a natural twenty. So I think I'm just gonna stick with this. That's fair. I'm I'm allow it. That's cool. I'm I'm, re I'm refreshing <laughs> my page to see if maybe I need to get to another section of ones and zeros. Oh, Lord, that's, just get the that's fair. Just get the, okay. the, so the algorithm reset. Clearly, yeah, I right. have. Even if I saw this before, I got no clue. So. I got nothing. Yeah. I'm try it. I'm that was weird. Hard. I'm looking through my books right now. You're gonna look through your books? It. Okay. Here we go. Nice. We go. Hallelujah. Right. Finally. Hallelujah. Jesus. Uh, so, with a history check, and this would be similar to a religion check, the, this is where things start to get weird for you, are versed in history of all over. You're not from here. Well, your essence may be from here, but you are not from here. You weren't born here. You came here relatively recently. It's been a couple of years, but you found a home here. That's great. But you do research. That's what you do. So when you first came here, you looked up customs, you looked up uh, the deities, if there are any, the spirits, which was what that led to, the spirits of the land, various different spirits, uh, and gods that can be uh, prayed to, or thanked, or acknowledged, and all of them are known and written about and you have extensive knowledge of the majority of them. So you do, you have on you in your bag, a book about this and you sort of pull out a book and you start flipping through the pages for 
you know, maybe something, you know, this area, cool. All right. So that would be probably about chapter six, chapter seven ish, uh, in the woods. So it'd probably be one of the nature deities, maybe, or maybe, I don't know. It'd be one of those like type of deities and you page through, page through, page through, and you find it. Chapter six. Parts four, five, and six are all blank. What is it? He looks very confused. And he, his book's got a bunch of little notes in it and like markings where like he, he's tracked at different parts he's looked up before. And this page has got like a mark, like, you know, like a bookmark, a little tab, but then there's nothing there as you look over his shoulder. There should be stuff here. There should be the words from the text that should be here, plus your notes. Your notes are ba barely visible. Like, you have some that are just circles on the page that have nothing, no annotation, no scribbled uh no notes in the margin like the ones that are in that margin are of the year six like a word that has no nothing to grasp to mm. he notes this down in his little notepad and as you're all staring at this book bishop okay um I would like you all to head out within the next two hours. I know it is early. Well, nearly midday, but it should not be but a couple hours trek, I would think. And she sort of looks over to the ones here and it's like, yeah, it's, it's a couple hours, but it's, it, we can do it. We can get there. Good. And if you all keep your spirits up, maybe you can keep a little more light than normal. And it shouldn't be dark for a while. You'll you'll make it. I do have other affairs to get to and preparations just in case. But do try, if you can, to find out what's going on. Make sure that this temple is prepared for restoration. We must keep this sacred. And she gets up to go and then stops. She is wearing a purple and green dress um, with like a, uh, a deep black, uh, black, um, a purple, almost black corset. Um, but like the what would you would think like ruffled like on the shoulders they're more like sleek metal pauldrons that come to a tip that if you look closely look like uh leaves and down the center of her back which looks like a plate of like a spined plate that are also leaves that just trip like from the her hair which is in like a a fro that just sort of curves back and then a braid that just goes right down the center of that spine of leaves she stops some of you aren't from here some of you are she turns we of the pharaoh we live differently than those on the material plane or other planes Cities and kingdoms are made not of greed, but of need for cooperation to survive. Together, we can work with the land to foster long life for both our people and the land. That's why we honor the spirits. That's why we honor the land here. 
without them, without that honor, the land would surely turn on us and we would all perish. All of us. Go clear. Jesus. And you all are escorted out into or out of the room. Uh, and you all start making your way out into, uh, they sort of lead you out through the, uh, it's, it's like a castle. It's kind it's, they don't want to call it a castle, but it's a castle. And they sort of lead you out through the castle and into the courtyard, uh, right out front, uh, and it's very nice. It's a uh, big fountain. There's a little band playing, and there are you know a bunch of people, or uh, some people outside, just walking around, um, just enjoying themselves. So for at least a second, you guys have a little bit of place to just at least sit and where stand and talk. Just to do you guys like just have anything you guys want to talk about while you're just standing like. Literally, the gates are, like, closing. Uh, Harry Winkle, give me a uh, perception check for me, please. Perception. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to roll that on a physical die. That's perfectly fine. Learn my lesson. <sighs> That's a nine plus two. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> it's not until the gates close that you see this nice shiny bauble hanging on the back of one of the guards that led you out and he closes the gate and he walks back <laughs> in. I'm like watching him walk back in. I'm like, that's so pretty. <laughs> I'm like, like slowly like hovering back towards the gate. Harry, Harry. No, no, mm. later. Later, mm. come on, mm. come on. Mm. Yeah, you okay? I know. You, are you okay? You seem kind of sad. I mean... I'm sad that I missed it. Would you would you miss something important? Maybe. Sometimes I don't know if it's important or if it's not. Mm. I'm like kind of like looking off the distance, like I'm actually deep in thought. Like mm. insight there's, there's check. Insight Feel free. Shy. Feel free to <laughs> make that insight check. Sure. I'll Feel be free. A sigh from you, Akeem. Oh, Fourteen. <laughs> Make, make a deception check, Periwinkle. Okay. Oh, gosh. Or persuasion, because you believe it so much. Or, yeah, or persuasion. Yeah, we'll give you persuasion. <laughs> oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Because persuasion. you believe it so deeply. Yeah. Okay. A bobble mist is an opportunity mist. <laughs> uh, so, Vantis, you look at her, her eye line. She's just looking at the this little shiny... It looks like a probably like, a, like maybe a potion or at least just a shiny glass vial. Gotcha. Uh, the, the sticky finger variety. I I've met many many like you. Uh, understood. I, your your type is very happy to see shiny things. I guess. <laughs> the bit of bit of. What do you mean? That, that one. Uh, sparkles make your eyes go wide and you kind of drool a bit. How do you know? Like I said, I have met many a type like you <laughs> on my travels. Oh. So I bet they didn't have as good bobbles as me. And like I kind of like put my tiny little hands on my hips and like as they do that you hear clink 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 all the things. <laughs> you sound like a oh sound like a good old fashioned wind chime a little bit. That's, that's it. I'm basically a I'm basically a flying wind chime. <laughs> and it's not even useful things. It's just like tiny little rings and stuff. It's there's like there's to some you. keys. There's some keys yeah. on there. We have no idea where they came from <laughs> no or where clue. they go to. <laughs> it's like the bottom of my grandma's purse. Like there's oh. just stuff there. <laughs> Honestly, oh. yeah. That's exactly it. Oh. And I I think it's at the sound of the jingling that is very <laughs> wingle. <laughs> Uh, that you all hear, come on, whoa, and a large 
what seems like a class of children start like like are in the square that you guys are like walking into and are like some of them are running around uh there you hear a teacher go Caleb it got no and they're just running after two small children and a bunch of kids just go lock to periwinkle. Oh lord. <laughs> Watch your stuff. Watch your things. Uh, oh man, I saw her at the carnival. I saw I saw I saw my mom. My mom my mom took me and I saw I saw you. Wow. And like all the kids are like, oh my god. Oh <laughs> I'm like, and I remember each and every one of your beautiful faces. And I'm like zooming around and like And literally every face is oh. mm-hmm. I saw you and you were doing the thing and you were so cool and so strong. Oh, can I be like, you mean this thing? And I'm going to cast, oh goodness, that's a good one to do right now. To A third level spell wasted, do it. I'm going to waste a third level spell on a bunch of children. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I was going to do... Yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. I'm fairy just, fire. Wow. I'm gonna waste some fairy fire oh on the <laughs> Honestly, that yeah. Go yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna cast some fairy fire on, uh, for the children. Awesome. At third on level. The, uh, <laughs> and on the on the assist, I'm gonna I'm gonna just do a little oppressed digitation behind Periwinkle Ooh. as she's moving, and it's just like this delightful little trail of fairy dust mm-hmm. um in like blues and greens and purples yeah. a little bit a little bit of silver in there give me a performance check to see mm-hmm. how because i with advantage I, I and uh what is uh joaquin's bard so what is wait me at a performance or, or oh yes yeah. this is your performance okay, okay cool that's a 23. <laughs> <laughs> okay so the kids are stuck they just they literally you brought the car like you might have well just brought yeah. the entire carnival i'm like yourself. spinning at full seed like a speed at a like a sky dancer like you just pulled that rip cord oh my god and yeah. and it's just like tinkling t- and, as just like violet flames are erupting off me <laughs> and the kids are wow <laughs> And they're just looking up and around and it's so cool. And one, like, as you sort of come down and the kids are like, that's a cool! Oh my God! Like, they're, some of them are just losing their absolute minds. It is great. Mm-hmm. Uh, one, uh, this one little uh, brown-skinned Aladrin boy, like, you can see him, like, has dark hair, like, long pointy ears. Um, and he comes up to you and, like, he, like, Pulls on your shirt. Oh, excuse me. Um, excuse me. Hi. Yes. Um. Uh, you you're you're one of the cool ones that go out and and they go on adventures, right? I sure am. Oh, oh that's so cool. Mm-hmm. So do do you go do you go out? And, and and make sure that everybody is is safe and come back and you have all your friends and they're always together and you make sure your friends never go away. I do my absolute very, very best. You do? That's I so do. Cool. <laughs> and you see this kid just like sort of like brighten, like his face gets brighter and you see him start relaxing and he has like the nicest piercing silver eyes you've ever seen i definitely grab like a like one of my silver baubles and i'm like and i always make sure i keep something for good luck to make sure everyone returns just like this and i like hand it out to him and i give him one of my silver baubles i i one day one day i i i want to be part of the autumn court and I'm gonna be the best and make sure all of my friends are safe forever. Yeah. And as he like scrunches up and gets super excited, you see four streaks in his hair start changing color. 
from just being black to yellowish green to dark green to red to white and it's just like these four streaks in his hair and he's just like yeah it's gonna be the rest I'm gonna be so good and I'm just like <laughs> <laughs> and he's like yeah all of my friends are gonna be around me. it's gonna be us and like one of his friends just sort of taps him on the shoulder and goes, Methanse, we gotta go! And he runs away. Uh, her death. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you Methanse hear? is a character from another game, y'all, just so you know. She's <laughs> 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 my baby Methanse. Oh my gosh. Okay, go. Okay. Uh, Cardez, you feel a little tug on your on your cloak, and you see this pale, uh, like changeling kid. And you've seen changelings before; they're typically really pale. They have, you know, very few features that you would see, and but. This kid is sort of familiar. You, you've seen him around, but you don't know him. And he goes, "You, I've seen you training with my dad. You're, you're really cool." Ben's um says, "Thanks, kid." Yeah, yeah. Your dad's pretty cool too. <laughs> yeah, you could ask awesome. these robots. I, I wanna, I wanna be cool. Just like you, one day, and, and be able to to change, like you can. Thanks. Yeah. One day, I'll do it. I'll I can I can do it. And like you can see him like starting to try. Like his face sort of forms and looks like a really young version of yours, and then shifts back. Oh, I could. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do everything, and I'm gonna. Even even animals. I'm a, I'm a, I'll be a tiger. And I'm a, it's gonna be cool. I believe you, kid. Yeah. Um. You're you're. You have to come back and show me some more things. I will. Okay. okay. Um. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go. Bye. Right, Bye. And he, like, walks away and waves at you, and you can see that his hand is all blue. The rest of his hands look normal, but his other hand looks normal, but his one hand is blue. Bye. Yes. And his friends come over. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. And he just sort of, like, he shifts into one of his friends and goes, I'm gonna be great. And then looks back at you and shifts into you and goes, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Ah, not yet. Okay. And then keeps going. I, mean, I guess I'm in the company of celebrities. This is, this is, this is impressive. I'm, I'm, so, je- uh, I'm, a, I'm, a little, I'm a little jealous. Yeah. Well, you know, I've read to the children, so seen me a bit. Mm. I worked so, at the Pixie Kingdom at the Witch Lake Carnival. It happens. <laughs> like, like I said, I'm very, I'm very impressed with both of you, how you both handled that. That was very, very, very professional. Very sweet. And with that, like, like some of the kids, like, kind of like, rush back in and, like, start to surround uh, Cardez and Periwinkle. And Cervantes is lucky. You guys sort of back up so mm. you don't know these kids. Mm. I'm watching pockets. I'm like, I'm. I'm, just... yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm at, yeah, I'm. I'm doing a. I'm. You know, I'm continuing the uh, the light show. Yeah. Don't uh, don't don't like... say your name out loud. Don't 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 <laughs> give your age. Don't sign nothing. Yeah, there is like one kid 
that like keeps coming up and goes, Can I? And that, no, you do not ask for him with me. And like, mm. teacher drags him off to like yell at him. Mm. Um, but Cervantes and Joaquin, you sort of, you know, keeping the perimeter, uh, do see a couple of kids, uh, playing because that as a uh, Joaquin, you sort of hear it. There's a band that's playing, like sort of closer to the uh, to, towards the fountain. And Cervantes, you being drawn to the water wherever you can, that's sort of your thing. But you both sort of see that there's this one little boy, this little elven boy, and he's just sort of he looks over at you. And he look like he sort of looks at you walking like playing the lute. And then like and then just goes back and looking at the band. And he's like, you he look like really excited to see you two. Both of you. But then he just sort of goes back to like he looks lonely, like you don't like all the other kids have like groups of friends with them. Oh, ow! But like that kid. Oh, shit. <laughs> is he? Wait. So is he? You said is he playing the lute? No, he he looked at you playing the lute. Like he looked because ah. you had an inch. Like with no, with your uh, high passive, like in inside of children, they're not. Clearly, he looked at you playing music and was like gonna come up to you. And he sort of saw like he saw the. The cool turtle guy and was like oh, mm -hmm. these guys look really cool but like i probably shouldn't i'm gonna just stay here it's fine i'm gonna keep keep my head down and but you both saw that child i'm gonna uh like i'll kind of squint i'm like hey kid oh oh hi what you doing hey. Uh, and you sort of, you see him point with his left hand at, uh, the band that's playing, and they have, like, uh, another, like, another person, on, like, playing the lute, someone playing, like, a drum, like, it's, like, a cool, like, mellow rhythm with the drums, and, uh, like, it's another guy, like, like, it's kind of like competing lutes, but like the melodies work out. So like one guy's playing a bass line and the other guy's like sort of strumming it out. And then another guy sort of like starts playing with like playing a horn and he's just lo looking at him. It's like, ah. Oh. And seeing that you guys walked up, it's like, oh, hi, hi. Uh, I was watching them play music. I. I like music's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Play. Um. I I I no. I, I'm doing I'm, that thing where like I'm not gonna tower over this kid, so I'm gonna like crouch so I'm at like eye level, so just I'm not keep like... both in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> Cervantes, are you there? Are you like? I, I mean, I'll, I'll be like a little bit behind them as mm. I know that I'm not the focus of interest here, uh, but the instrument, is, the the instrumentalist is. So he's yeah. gonna like just be on the side a bit, just like a little close behind. And as he sort of just like looks at you both, like he sort of sees you and goes, I and looks over, I um. And he's sort of like sitting side onto you and turns around. And I said, I want to play, but I'm, my arm's kind of busted. Oh, um, has he got like a, a cast on? Yeah, it's, and it's weird. Like he raises the arm up, but it only goes up, but so far in the whole, mm. there's a cast on the whole arm. Yeah. Um, uh, I, 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 I had an accident when I was, um, trying to help my friends. So my arms 
bust it. And I, I think it'll get better, but um, the healer says something's wrong. Look at Cervantes, who is obviously the, the holy man here. <laughs> uh, he said something wrong. What what did they say? What was it just say something something was wrong with you? Um they said like I'll probably be moved I, 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 careful now. Careful I'll now. be able I'll, can to I do move a, it. Can I do a medicine check? Yeah. I'll give you a medicine check with the <sighs> With heal you. this I, child. I appreciate heal. that. Heal Good this Lord. child. Heal this child. 16. You utilize your magic. How does your magic work? How's it look? Uh, it, how's it look? Um, let's see. Uh, I am a, a, a Tempest cleric, so my my spells are, are, are oriented with the, the the seasons of the sea uh and in this instance uh as as um Cervantes is overlooking this child and doing this medicine check the soft smell of a of a of, of a beach in spring starts to roll in and almost if you're listening for it uh you start to hear the rolling of waves the ebb and flow of of, of it passing back and forth as he starts humming to himself, uh, overlooking this uh, this boy's injury, mm. to see what what it is or what can be done if there can be anything done. As you let the waves take you, you reach out and touch the child's arm, uh, and sort of let your natural magics inspect what's going on. And you can see that he will get better, so he will have movement within the arm. But for some reason, at this point in time, some of his fingers won't work. Hmm. It'll probably take like a higher level restoration than they had at the time or something more continual. Mm -hmm. It's possible it'll get better, but it's possible it won't. Hmm. He had a mighty fall there. This injury is quite uh, not severe, but it's bigger than I think the doctors were prepared for. Yeah, my my friend. I didn't mean it. But I'm, sure, it's, I'm sure you did. It's, it's fine. Yep. I'll, I'll be okay. You will be in time, but here. An extra piece of advice. Mm -hmm. just, for, just for you. Mm -hmm. It's going to seem hard. Trials and tribulations are going to come before you. The boys, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It means it's going to seem like impossible really really hard to get better mm. but that just means you got to work harder to show even your body that you're in charge that you make the decision okay that you are the one when you say heal you heal mm. All right. and i'm gonna give you a little bit of motivation a little bit of a push to get better okay and, okay. and any time and anytime you feel like you can't do it, remember this feeling. And he's gonna uh tap them on the chest and I'm gonna just give them a little bit of guidance. Uh and it it feels like uh it feels like a gust of wind that like after the waters have been dead for a long time, you finally get that gust of wind to move your sails forward. Mm -hmm. And like it it when he touches it, he taps them, there's like a Kind of uh, feeling that goes over him. Oh. Now, anytime you feel the wind, anytime you feel that wind, oh. that means you keep going. That oh. means you keep pushing. Okay. And one day, that arm is going to be stronger than any other arm in the whole Feywild. 
yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm going to go play with my friends. And then we'll be, we're going to play forever. It's going to play a lot. And it's, it's going to be fun. And then my health plan get better. And it's going to get what? It's going to get so much better. And then when you push, they're going to be so surprised with the strength you got in that arm. Yes. Yeah. And you, you think I'll be able to be strong and play like you? Oh, oh yeah. He sort of looks at Joaquin. I'll, uh, I'll take what, cause I mean, I'm, a, I'm a bard. I've got, um, any number of instruments on me at any point in time, um, including, but not limited to a small hand drum. Um, there's a strap on it. So I'm gonna, it's like, do you, do you mind? Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix the, the drum around his, his chest um to so he can keep the the injured arm you know immobilized to where it needs to be so it can heal mm. but i'm gonna show him how to do like just a real simple like one-handed rhythm keeping the the drum like tucked against it see you know even when you're uh even when you're healing you can uh keep your practice up okay i'm sure i'm sure your folks are gonna love that that's gonna be great <laughs> That's gonna be awesome. Yes. Practice and at all hours, not just not just in the morning or afternoon, but at late 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 at night. Practice as much as you can. I'm gonna practice so much. And just that, and as you're saying this, and he gets so excited, you see a group of three other kids. One little uh, fey girl that looks ex like remarkably like him, like maybe a sister close cousin something like that a little brown skinned genasi boy with overalls and like he's just like, standing there looking at some keys and then it's like a much smaller like half elven girl with big glasses and they're like and you see the one that looks just like him wave jb we gotta go there's more mystery oh okay Thank, thank you. I gotta go. I, this is, this is be ah. careful. Be careful. Be ah. careful. Ah. Be ah. careful. Ah. And he just runs off. Oh, God. God, no, I didn't think that through. His parents are going to be real unhappy. Oh, I can't wait. That's, that's going to be a chaotic that's, mess. That's going to be so much fun for them. Oh, I'm so excited for them. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, <laughs> probably get a move on and, uh, you know, save the realm. Or just, get the, just to get the parents all around. We don't want to uh, face those consequences. Back. Yeah, no, let's go. Um, <laughs> As you're saying this, uh, the previous like us, the scout and then the other scout sort of come out. Uh, there are four, like him plus three uh, come out and sort of uh, I see you all are ready. Oh, um, not quite. I just got to change and then we're ready to go. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Um, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, change. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, you know, take your time to change, get ready. Yeah, he'll go and say, I'll meet you guys at the gate. Go get changed and come up, show up in his attire. Oh. His change of attire is a little more rugged it's got a uh, some armor that's kind of dark and it's like more of a shadowy armor kind of like dro kind of like druger kind of loose it looks like it can flex and move around a bit and as with that uh they sort of look at you and go all right let's Let's head out. Um, the wilds, uh, like we know how to get there or the direction, but the wilds can be finicky. I so, know. Um, we, we'll get there. Just keep your head about you and we'll, we'll see what we can do. So. As you all head out into the Feywilds, into the Westwoods, I'm going to have you guys roll to see what happens. 
Oh man, right. I, made, I made y'all a little made wild roll table. Oh Ooh. My God, we've got a counter table. Encounter table. Oh, Instant no. death. I can't wait to roll it. Let's go. Chaos. Chaos. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see. Who would like to go first? <laughs> oh. Emphatically, that, yes. <laughs> Their interest is peaked. Wants to go first? Let's go. Just a d20, right? Or... Roll a d20, and we'll see what we get. Oh my gosh. I, I'm Oh, okay. Fun fact in D&D Beyond, if you just keep clicking the d20, it'll add as many d20s as you It sure <laughs> will. We only going. did one. <laughs> I was like, just one, and now I'm on to 11. Oh, no. Oh. But you guys do, like, the beginning, you guys start to uh, get through. 17. <laughs> Uh, get through, you know, get through the, the the immediate woods, and you guys are following the general trail. Like the first part of the trail is just a normal hunting trail that you guys follow. Then it starts to get more into the deeper woods. Once you get into the deeper woods, where like larger game are, or more, you know, something you have to have to hunt. That's when things start to get a little treacherous. Uh, but you guys are able to follow pretty well, uh, keeping it moving. Uh, sort of following some of the other scouts and they're doing like sort of a formation right so it's like the one that uh knows the way the one who's been there before in front and then the other ones are sort of fronting you and sort of keeping an eye on him and keeping an eye on you guys but you guys you have a ranger with you in general so you guys know what you're doing and you guys are making your way through and that's when it happens the seems like the ground itself in anger opens its maw in an attempt to swallow you and the chasm just sort of starts to erupt i need everyone to make uh dexterity saving throws for me please oh no oh lord oh no wait i'm i'm flying <laughs> okay <laughs> what oh no what does that make <laughs> oh cat class oh no Oh, hold on, I gotta see how, how guidance works because I'm oh, well, I, well, if, you're, if, if you're flying, you wouldn't. Well, you're making a different type of dexterity right? saving throw then. Um, that's a 16. Oh, who's waiting for oh, this negative? You need a wisdom save. It's dex. Well, it's a dex save. Who's waiting well, for this negative dex. one? Who's ready? Oh, dex. Who's, I'm so sorry. I don't one? know why I, I'm not hey, hey, wisdom. That's, that's what about. Let's go. That negative one, baby. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> oh goodness How's it? that's a 13 I got a 17 awesome Periwinkle, can you roll a d4 for me please oh, oh christ oh, lord. Oh, 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 oh. lord jesus <laughs> oh. <laughs> two <laughs> good that's alright Is it good? Is it all right? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it, is it yeah. Because luckily, as much as the rest of you uh, are able to sort of dodge the chasm that has opened up this fissure within the ground, uh, Curdes, you sort of were looking at one of your books. As you look up, you miss the step that's beginning to open up, and you fall ten feet, taking six bludgeoning damage. Okay. Uh, Periwinkle, you dodge around and the tree is falling down. Mm -hmm. And Cardez, you look like you're about to be crushed by this tree when it falls right on top of this opening. Okay, okay, okay. So, you luckily... You're only prone for a little bit, and you probably get out. It seems like yeah. You kept and you'll be all right. Run out real quick. But yeah, that. Well, as you leave that, and you sort of dust yourselves off and are able to continue on, it's weird. You can feel like. 
Give me an insight check, all of you. Natural 20 for a 25. Yes. <laughs> that is a 20 for me. Oh, nasty. Okay. So, uh, Cervantes, you are sort of looking the looking for the path ahead. The rest of you look back, and the trees are turning. And this chasm just sort of closes, and you could swear that at least right here the ground the grounds the wilds the forest itself is angry uh, for some reason okay all right okay all right okay all right but you're able to continue so who would like to be next I'll go next. Yay. Yay. <laughs> uh, the wacky just, and wonderful wilds. Just uh, this is D20, right? Yep. Straight D20. Everybody roll. 15. A 15. You continue on. The sunlight sort of peers down through the trees. The... Oh no! Matt disappeared. Got him back. Oh no! Um... Oh, oh, no. No. He got swallowed by the woods! Oh god! He got eight! He done did he got, he got eight! eight. He done did folks, get, he, yeah, he did. He done done did got eaten! Y'all thought I was playing out here in these streets, folks. <laughs> in these woods. <laughs> The woods These... will eat you. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> so, rap. Uh, That's a rap for you. Uh, back to LA. Um, but uh, of course, technical issues. It, it, it beats like that. Sometimes. It, it TTRB, happens. TTRBG it do, in fact. curse. Here, have yeah. a cat while we're in the midst of this because I have a cat on me. <laughs> Amazing. <Fantastic. God. laughs> uh, okay. Okay. But um. Cervantes, you start to see like the sun starts to get a bit hot, mm -hmm. and like you feel like it sh starts to get a little muggy, and you know like it, you start to feel, you know, y'all all of you starting to feel a little tired and sluggish, and Cervantes, you hear you are on land. Aren't you? Did you find it yet? Oh, but I'm searching for it. That never stops. Find it. Come back to me. I want nothing more. And a cool ocean breeze blows through the woods. All of you immediately relax. The airs become calm. Uh, anything that would have been like oppressive, that heat, that unbearable humidity is gone. Bar seems still for now. Hmm. Ah. Nothing like a good old breeze to make the, the travel safer. And for the rest of you, it's like you can just hear the sound of the ocean. Some of you don't even know what an ocean is, having spent so much time in these wilds, but you know the sound of rushing water. Uh, and 
comforting. Who's next? <gasps> I'll do it. Cool. Yeah. Please. That's a four. Oh boy. <laughs> It's either real good or real bad. It's, 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 there's no in between with these random encounter tables. I don't know what you're talking about. Robert. <laughs> <laughs> Got ocean breeze, earth moths. Like it's going right. It's going great. <laughs> just, just. Mm. A little bit of earth, a little bit of wind. Some hopefully not fire. It's good. Yeah. Oh no. Earth, air. <laughs> Fire and no, okay. <laughs> As you all are trekking, walking, how do you help this expedition? I mean, I'm a bard. It's, uh, you know, a little music to travel by. Uh, a, a nice, uh, Easy, easy melody on loot. Little loot fi. Loot fi. <laughs> I, I need, oh, that's brilliant. I need you to roll for me. Oh, no. A performance check. Okay. You get some guidance. Oh, yeah. Guidance. guidance. Was that Ooh. a D4? Yeah, it's a you D4. Have, you have emotional support from me. <laughs> hey, uh, that's a total of 27 hey let's go with the guidance <laughs> hey. it's interesting because the the trees leaves grass all begin to rustle and begin to Vibrate the energy, reaching out, getting excited, getting hungry, and you start playing. And well, you've seen this in people. You have never seen this in the wilds, in the land, but it begins to resonate with what you're playing. And you're tuned. Seems to stem the hunger. Seems to lull whatever was wanting of a snack wanting of you all back to sleep at least for now hey that's that's great uh, <laughs> this is why this is why this is why i don't go wandering in the forest because <sighs> things will fucking eat you hey guys just uh just heads up um this is gonna actually no. This isn't gonna sound weird because we're in the damn fair. I was gonna say we are we're here. <laughs> the, trees, the trees are hungry. Oh. So uh, watch where you step. But I'm so okay. snackable. Yeah, no, <laughs> Perry. Don't say you're delicious in front of the the, the trees. They can hear me. Yeah, apparently no, they're, li they're they're listening. I am um, not. I am not in the slightest. Delicious. I taste like booty. I am not delicious. <sighs> One tree starts to shake your eye. <laughs> it's weird. Y'all look and you just see a tree behind another tree. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do not, um, do not nope. eat me like you do groceries. <laughs> um, 
give me, I want you all to give me, well, I would say periwinkle because you're enticing the trees right now. No, I'm not. Please don't. <laughs> Please stop. You're doing stop. so well <laughs> until you started enticing the trees. <laughs> you actually got one of the no complications ones. Um, but since you're now well, enticing the trees. Hang on. No, can I roll deception for, for expressing <laughs> that I taste like booty? I will 100% <laughs> allow you to roll deception. Thank hey, you. Hey, you get guidance. <laughs> Ah, that's why I play cleric. <laughs> uh, okay, that's a seven. Well, how, what uh, do I get to oh, roll for the guy? A, a D4. Just one D4? Yeah. <laughs> Make it a little better. <laughs> Make it a little better. <laughs> one. So it's eight total. <laughs> Audience, look at me. Audience, look at me. I was, I, it was a low DC. I was, this was, this was a What was the DC up. for us? What was the DC? It was a 10. Like, it was a 10. Oh my God. It was, it was oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Okay. No. Yeah, oh, do to do, no. ha ha ha. Like, real easy. Uh, plus all the things. God, this told The trees. The trees. Yeah. This is the Feywild. You don't fuck around. You like, will any, find out. Anything can be dangerous. But Expeditiousness. Hungry. <laughs> okay. I'm going to fight a tree. Let's this is great. It's is great. It's so, hopefully, it's one tree. I will give you all the chance to make a perception check. This is going to be a group. Perception check. Uh, or insight, perception. whatever one's higher. No, perception or insight, whatever one's higher. Oh, I'll let cool. you go. I don't cool. like trees. They're tall and full of branches and their leaves get everywhere. I'm I'm concerned that, like I'm pretty sure I've seen something off the trail that's like somehow eyeballing Perry, even though it doesn't have eyes. So that would <laughs> that would make sense as to why I only got a fucking 12 when I've got a plus eight <laughs> to my goddamn perception. Um, but that's a decent spread. So you it all helps. noticed this. You all noticed the trees that were being held at bay for <laughs> now because of the loot playing <laughs> are starting to turn your way. Yeah, we gotta, uh, go. No. We gotta go. We gotta you, go. Nope. You guys sort of look ahead and you see that your guy just like taking off. He's moving. <laughs> hey, guy, can you not? <laughs> can you back here. Come he's back. Sort of, like, he's far away, so you can't quite see him. He's like, <laughs> and he's like, he turns, waits for a second, looks back. Do you follow? Is he? Is this our? Is he our guide? Yeah. Okay. We should follow him. Gonna follow. Um, yes. Uh, maybe we want to be a little more careful and yeah. Perry, Perry, we talked about this. Perry, we talked about this. Just I know. Okay, listen, I know. I didn't realize that they could actually hear me. Well, now, <laughs> we now, now, now we don't. Now we don't. Just I'll push it, my wide. shoulder. Yeah, push it, push it, push it. So, just... so she'll take. So they'll take a seat. Okay. Just, come here, would you? <laughs> I, I take a seat on this shoulder, and I just kind of like slump down and pout. I know, I know. <laughs> You're just gonna. Ex I'm gonna like. I'm gonna play a little louder. Yeah. Um, it's like it's like that bit in um um no. um what you call it. Princess and the Frog, oh, where yeah. uh, Naveen's like trying to like keep the vibes going. Yes. <laughs> keep the vibes. Just El, El Dorado just strumming. Yeah. The, <laughs> strumming. Yeah. With your 27 for performance, I'll say you are able to do so, but the bubble around you does sometimes close in. Uh -huh. And that sunlight that you see piercing through the trees. Knock it off. Knock it off. Knock it off. And then it'll off. relax for a little bit. And then it'll close. And get tight and restrictive. And no, 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 no. <laughs> but with that, I think we're down to our last roll. So I think Cardez is rolling a 20. Oh, boy. Yeah. 
Matt? Me D20. Roll. Yeah, but really, I'm gonna switch back to my other sound. Oh, okay. Clear. Uh, when you can't give us a D20 roll, probably gonna be clear. Yeah. see what happens with the woods are not always <laughs> the woods are dark and deep and we have miles and to go before full we sleep. of terrors yeah. dark and deep and full of terrors okay cool all right give me that give me that d20 just a leisurely stroll through the fey wild yeah, no everything's big. fine you've been okay like we just going for a walk here. <laughs> yeah, we just this is it's a little little quick jaunt. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's yeah, fine. Yeah, be all right. <laughs> oh boy. Does please, I will. I'm gonna ask you a question. Oh no, and it's very simple questions zero, one, or two. No. So, you guys are. Trekking. The music is still playing. It's the constriction of the woods has sort of receded. And you're not, it doesn't feel as oppressive anymore. It's good. And that cool breeze comes back, which is more relaxing. And. You can hear the sound of, like, rushing water. And some of you who are familiar with the woods know that, like, there's a couple of streams that go through. Uh, you're heading towards, you were told you're heading towards the, uh, a place known as the Rest. And it, on the way, there are definitely some, like, little rushing streams. And you come across them. Water. Green. The air, kind, for once. And... For once you feel calm. And it's not just, like, the world, because, like, you can hear, like, some of the animals, like, running through the trees. And... You all actually see it this is it's not really hiding you more hear it first before you see it but a little little, little baby bird a little bird it, and drinks a little water and it's adorable it's just is it is it robert for, i'm waiting for that shoe to drop like i don't know <laughs> what it's in the well you can see it. Mm -hmm. um, it's sort of right there. Like, you sort of have walked up to the stream, and right next to you is this little bird. It's about that big. It's like, you know, like little baby chicks, they're all round and yellow. This one's not <laughs> yellow, it's a little gray, but it's a little gray, little round, big little face. It's adorable. <laughs> Insight check. <laughs> I'll do. Insight check. Go for it. Roll. I'm gonna insight check the DM. I'll get go it. All right. Insight check the bird. <laughs> well, insight check the bird. I'm gonna ritually cast uh, speak of animals. 
Ooh. I was gonna say if if That's someone nice. wasn't gonna, I was gonna. I'm, I'm gonna perception check the, the surrounding area. Nice. Ooh. That's a so, twenty-two insight. Brilliant. Yeah, you will die. I, I will give myself some guidance, so I'm gonna write it. Full guy. Right. Okay. Brilliant. So nineteen total. Nice. Uh, so you go back. You see this, this insight. The insight check of this little round ball of a of a bird. burb, like truly the actual definition of burb, like, mm -hmm. <laughs> is I mean, what are you, old guy? Mm. And he's just a little, little old guy, little burb. <laughs> um, it is by just, itself. Just a burb. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It is by itself. It's, it's just a bird, a small little bird in the Feywild in the middle of a, a man-eating forest. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not mad at the forest. Isn't mad at the animals. They ain't do nothing. They just live in. Uh, but as you do that, uh, Curtis, you kind of you have taken your little time while Periwinkle is just literally just doing circles around this thing, trying to do it, and you can't speak with animals. Yeah. Do you, do you say anything? Um, well, you know, he traces something in the air, and then he's got a sprig in his hair. Kind of just brushes it a little bit. He kind of looks at the book. Oh, yeah, that's how you do it. Okay. And he takes a, takes a seat next to the bird slowly. He takes out some uh, bird seeds and just kind of just offers it some seed. He just sort of looks at you. And just sort of, you now understand. I feel, and just sort of pecks at the bird seed. Says you're welcome. I feel. And... Any uh, <laughs> any weird going on? That uh, you know, weirder than usual. Ah, uh, I I've I. I Oh, I'm two. You're two. Oh, yeah, that's. Oh, oh buddy. Hi. Ah. So, uh. Did you want to drink some water and yeah. eat some more of the bird seed? Thank you. Did you see any people just go by recently? I, uh. I saw you. Other people. And like literally, it's like watching Periwinkle just fly around in circles around. Not him. that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm aggressively buzzing back Perry, and forth. <laughs> Perry, 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 I think you're, I think you're distracting him. What? Oh, uh, my bad. <laughs> and his mouth is just opening like while it's watching. Ah. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Uh. Well. I Thanks. definitely take a seat. <laughs> I haven't seen that in a while. Um... You said you said there's water behind us, right? Yeah, like it's a, a little, stream. A little Russian stream. Yeah. Russian stream. Uh, can you ask him about that stream? Is it is it an actual stream or is it a, 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 a deep deep dive into nothingness? He he looks up at you and it's the look of yeah. I don't think this guy knows what he's talking. But dude's in. To ask him if the stream is safe. Or is it going to eat us? Mm. He's two. Oh. Hey, do your own smart. Too. And then I like I I look at the bird and I point at the stream and then I go I like right in the bird's face. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, and then point to myself. <laughs> and you all hear the loudest squeak you've ever heard coming out of this thing. Oh boy. I'm not okay, that aggressive. Right. I'm like a fairy. <laughs> what did they say? He's just, I think he's just screaming <laughs> in terror. Uh, yeah. They just like squeal, um, basically. Well, see, the first thing you heard was a squeal. Oh, no. Then it took a breath. And the second thing you heard was... 
Oh, oh, God. oh no. okay, okay. And Cervantes. Oh, God. Okay. What did it say? Yeah, what's up? You hear it first. Of course. It's cool, 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 cool. Hack! Hack! Hey, hack, hey, hack, hack! Yeah. And it's not like, oh, the sound of a. You all know the sound of a goose. Oh, no. This didn't sound like the one that you've seen in the city. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. This sounded massive. He puts some seed down and says, oh. tell your parent you're good, kid. My friend's just special. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear the sound of wings. Oh, no. And running and honks. And all of you give me a nature check. Oh my gosh, tell it to chill. Tell it to please chill. <laughs> DC's low. I've got something else on, so I just That's a 10! 13. Oh god, that's a 6. I'm not, I'm not, I don't nature, I'm an indoor kid, god damn it. Oh no. I don't know anything outside the circus. That's fair. <laughs> Cervantes, you know that what carnival geese are like. <laughs> They're not pleasant. Bless mm -hmm. them. Um, I said the geese. Turtles and geese have had a strenuous relationship. <laughs> of that, you are very well aware. And the problem oh, is, is that Cardez and Joaquin, you are privy to what the what has been called the goose mother. Oh no. Um, Not the fairy tale. Oh no. Cardez, you only knew of it as a fairy tale. Unfortunately, when yeah. you finally read about it and you thought, oh, this was just a very big goose. Maybe a, a giant goose. No, this is more of a giant goose hydra. And it's coming for you. Oh now. no. I'm do? sorry, what? Tell, tell it I'm sorry. Oh. Please tell it I'm sorry. <laughs> ha, oh, I, yeah, uh, okay, 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 okay. Um, do we I would, see I, anything mm. coming yet? Or? Uh, Cervantes saw it coming from that direction. The oh. op It's coming from where you guys were, and you have to go, like, you have to go away. You do have to cross the stream. The stream's very shallow. It's kind of like a little bit of a babbling yeah. brook that you Is the child easily. still crying? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to cast Calm Emotions. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm already up. Oh, this help <laughs> calm this child down. Cool. I, I have grabbed Periwinkle and, like, I'm, like, football carrying them. <laughs> just, nope! Like, nope! I didn't mean it. I was just trying to find out if we were going to die. And now we're oh, going to no, die. It's fine. It's fine. No, we're just, we just got it. We got it. We got it. Boot scoop oh, boogie. Oh, run. Where is Calm? So, so yeah, cast calm. You can cast calm emotions, uh, but that means it will be close. Whatever is coming will be closer by the time you run. Cervantes, Cervantes, you still, still cast calm emotions? Oh, oh I, actually, I can cover our tracks if we just run now. Is how close is the giant goose at this point? We don't know. Cervantes might know. That's the problem. That's the problem. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll ready. I'll ready it. I'll ready calm motions. Guys, let's hide. Hide. Because it, it's one. It's Ooh, twenty feet radius. Okay. Oh. okay. I'd like to ready something as well within thirty feet of of when it reaches thirty feet of us. Are you guys? My question is: Are you guys running? We're, we're gonna duck into the tree line, is what it sounds okay, like. We're gonna, we're gonna hide. <laughs> cool. I jump and we hide. Had. Yeah. Pass you, without a trace. Who has the kids? Cover the oh, it's track. still on the ground. Oh, the, the kids just vibing. We're not gonna snatch yeah. it. That's gotcha. you know, no, I've seen Lost World of Jurassic nap. Park. We don't do this. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, you can run. Running, like, you feel like you have some time. You guys are fast. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, we can run. But, okay, I'm fine. 
should probably go. We should go. We should go. We should go. We should go. You do not. You also don't want it to follow you. This is true. So I'm going to take. Do you cast calm emotions? I, it's not within 20 feet of... I want to calm both the mom and the child down at the same time. Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't yeah, have that's no. Thing. That's the oh, thing. Uh, okay. So, yeah, you don't have that. I don't have that okay. luxury, so... Mm -mm. Well, I no, have something we're... I want to do when it, within 30 feet. Are you guys staying oh. around oh. to deal with this? Or are no. You... I'm going to I'm gonna drop, like, a, a, like a, a cake, like, a, a little, like, biscuit... Um, and cause I, I also, I have speak with animals in, with my, my fancy, um, uh, uh, bardic, bardic instrument. Just, I am so sorry. Just, you're okay. You're fine. You're fine. It's fine. I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm so 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 sorry. Okay. You know what? I tried. Sprint. Yeah, I just Sprint. Kind of, yeah, we just we run. Gotta, we gotta go. If it yeah. comes, yep. if it comes near us, I, I will cast it. But. Sprint. Sprint. We are sprinting Master for the face. stream. You, you still have me in a football hold. So. I, 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 <laughs> you cast Path Without Trace? Yes, and start pushing people. I need all of you to make stealth checks for me, please. Oh, man, thank uh, you for that. Plus path 10? Trace. Uh, yeah, plus 10. I'm going to need it. Uh, I'm going to cast. If I do not, I'm going to cast. Okay, guess what? Uh, Guidance on myself. Uh, before 30, 20, 4, 30. So, 18. 18. Ooh, I need that guidance. Uh, so that would be uh, uh, 28 for me. You got armor on? Uh, no. Uh, you know, you're a total. I have a, I have a minus one to my dex, so. Let's see how the hunter works. It's oh, so funny God. that a fairy is not stealthy, because I rolled an eight, but well, I'm. You got all those bobbles on you. <laughs> you're a goddamn wimp track. I'm loud. <laughs> jingle jangle, like jangle over here. Jingle jangle jingle. <laughs> But you got 19, so that's 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 nice. That's, that's what I try, so. So you got a 19. Luckily. Mm. Mm. It's, it's plus 10 to perception. Jesus! Which only rolled oh, seven. No. Got a seven. Oh no. Oh. Oh. So. As trees get separated, as you just hear at least five, if not more, honks that just start going Jeez. off one after the other after the other, and the piercing that you run, and you keep running. I need all of you to. Roll a perception check. So sorry, y'all. <laughs> no, we're good. We're good. That's cool. You drag you past. That's natural one. Uh, <clears throat> 26. Hey. <laughs> we balance out, man. We balance out. Because. And it's very good that you did, because it's at this point, as you are running, you realize that the other scouts that were with you aren't there. And the one that was ahead of you isn't visible. Luckily, you do have a ranger with you, so you do remember where the rest current generally is. Luckily, Cortez has a book on these things and knows about where to go. And you find yourselves coming through the tree line at a cliffside that some of you would know as the rest. Some of you may have been here before for various reasons. Some of you just know of it, but you know that it is a place in the wilds that people come to honor some of the ones that they have lost. Before continuing on your journey, of course. But you know what? Let me show you what 
Jesus. And as you walk out to this rest, you see your uh, God. And he had this that like, you couldn't see him. Like you were running for like 20 minutes, like hoofing it, trying to make sure you weren't eaten by a goose hydra. And see him standing there looking at this shrine. And he turns to you all. And he looks different. His eyes look a little bit deeper. His smile is back and very wide. Almost there. And he vanishes. Ah, uh, hells. And that's where we're going to take a quick break. I don't like this. Ah. I, don't, I don't like any of this. He's a spooky <laughs> man. He's spooky. If, if I had a nickel for every time I got mixed up with some nonsense in the Feywild, <laughs> I have three nickels. Mm. Mm. Three. It's a pattern at this point. It's a pattern. Yeah, at this point. Seems yeah. Like at this point. Niche at this point, yeah. The niche. <laughs> so I think we'll take a quick five and uh maybe slightly more if we need to take slightly longer, we'll figure it out. But we're gonna plan for five. Uh so everyone else, thank you for watching. We hope you're enjoying the story. Take a quick bio, get water, stay hydrated. Thank you for enjoying the story. And we will be Right back.
What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Fervor of the Forgotten League of Feywild. Do 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 do. <laughs> Aw, you got you understand me. Uh, <laughs> yes, one little jaunt through the Feywilds has turned a little weird. Our adventurers were tasked with finding a temple uh, that a scout who had gone previously found in massive disrepair and his part his party was attacked um they have gotten their mission met some of the the younger citizens of the city the fey city of Lucreen have adventured out into the west woods and survived their guides have disappeared all except one who they just saw standing at this cliffside clearing having smiled with wider than normal eyes and a wider than normal smile almost there but it vanished And that's where we'll pick up. As you all enter this clearing, you look at the space around you. Honestly, it's really just like a natural clearing surrounded by the various colors and types of fey trees, blues, purples, greens, yellows, reds all deep the feeling here is very serene compared to the vibrancy of the rest of the fey wilds and the weird nature of the fey woods you just came from this is probably why people have used this space uh, to erect a stone shrine on an overlook. Uh, some 60 or so feet above a flowing river. Small banners flap in the air over a stone uh, altar up a set of stairs and around her, some ornamental orbs. What this is, a calm place. And that's what you see on a general look at the space. But you do know that your guide just disappeared. When you say disappeared, do you mean like like he like vanished, right? Or did he like run vanish? I will say all of you give me a perception check if you have uh any proficiency in arcana or nature, you can make it at advantage. Joaquin, you already have advantage on. Wait, hold, I already what? You have advantage on this roll without needing. What? To Why? Why? Don't you love it when your DM gives you just gives you advantage for no particular reason? <laughs> Hate that. Uh, this is twenty one. I got a twenty five. I got a seventeen. I smell shenanigans. I got a ten. I, I don't know this place. Smell this the place smelly weird. smell. It smells mm. like bullshit. Yeah. Smelly smell. What's that smell? <laughs> It's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> the distinct smell of bullshit. As you all sort the bulls, of they're shitting. Walk up, uh, around where the shrine is, still in the middle of the clearing. 
it's then when you start to like notice it. And Joaquin, you're very familiar with this mode of transportation. Cortez, you've seen it before with some of the people you have trained with. Uh, it's a phase step. Some Eladrin are able to maneuver themselves in space and disappear in one spot, go to another. Periwinkle, you've seen people misty step before. Similar. Mm. But this is something innate to Faye. Mm. Now, it's interesting because you now sort of have an idea of how this happened. Joaquin, you know when you see another electric. They Elves are elves or elves or elves. You can tell who's an elf, but Aladrin are special. They're they're so in tune with the emotion and the season of the land that it has to manifest. It can't not manifest. The man you talked to before was not Aladrin. Okay. Um, since we know that Aladrin, depending on what season or what mentality they're in, that depends. Um, that will will give them their particular face step. Mm. Um, me being in winter looks very different from someone who is, say, a summer Aladrin using their face step. What was left behind when that some bitch did their face step? Do you go to examine the area? <laughs> I would I guess so. Okay. If I can, I would move up. Okay. Carefully. We'll carefully go mm -hmm. and examine the area. I know it's about here on the map. That good? Yeah. 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 And um, I want to ask a particular question from my perception. Mm -hmm. Do they, because I, for reasons you know, mm -hmm. they for smell me. like the same person. Uh, for that, I'm going to need a, another perception yeah. check. Um, Joaquin, you see scorch marks. Summer. It's wild. You're is it that does... uh yes, it is everything. Um it's you say summer. When somebody's in summer, they life is at its fullest. Not just not just just beginning of spring, but the full vibrancy of summer, the excitement, the heat. Yeah. This man, the man you saw, that regular wood elf that you saw before, if he was a ladron, should have been in winter. Something I, doesn't make sense. I will, um, relay this information to the rest of the party um summer is also anger and recklessness which um if the woods are angry makes a certain amount of sense um dm we're in we are firmly in autumn though right yeah like, like as far as court oh yes boundaries this is, you are very much in the autumn mm -hmm. okay very i don't i don't like i don't like these implications in the slightest well for, for somebody out, out of the loop here for these games what does that exactly mean it's out of book 
I don't got time to read all that. The <laughs> courts, the courts are meant to maintain balance at all times. Winter does not encroach into spring. Spring does not encroach into summer. Summer does not encroach into fall. There are rumors of other courts, but those are just rumors as far as I am aware. The fact that we have something showing that level of anger, something <clears throat> showing marks of summer, and hiding itself in the autumn court is very bad. Noted. Understood. Heard this. Something smells different to you. Ah. Herdez's uh, ranger abilities and favorite enemy. Uh, he's skilled at helping to track down a lost Fey or Fey who have tried troubles in the Fey Wild. So that's why he has advantage on perception. You know, similar checks with the uh, Fey creatures. Uh, I got a 14 on die and plus four for guidance. Just to kind of try and focus my perceptions. And as the DM has stated, something doesn't smell right. You do get wood elf, that wood elf you smelled before, but mm -hmm. something's overriding that, or trying to, or succeeded, but something's not right. It's weird that you have sense competing, and something powerful is trying to overwrite that smell. Cervantes, it's strange. You are taking stock of what's going on. You're trying to understand some of the things that are happening. Um, and you are seeing the things that are pointed out to you. And it's... It seems like everyone else is focusing on all of the things and your focus is other places. Which in this instance happens to be very good because you hear help us. As you look and you see three floating orbs close by the shrine just sort of floating there. I just see, just see them out in the open. Just, just, does anyone else seem to notice or is it just me? Yeah, can we all see these? Uh, All the rest of you make perception checks. Because I will bring it to attention. Like, I'm not one of those people who go, Ooh, what's that? No. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm be like, hey, I see some things you guys don't pay me see. If if you if that is what happens, then you all immediately see it. That's, well, that's a 23 I, perception. Yeah, I would <laughs> say periwinkle, you weren't paying attention. <laughs> there is a very nice little bed of flowers that you were like, oh, yeah, I'm cool. definitely playing. I got, playing I those got that. That's got my name on it. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm sprawling I'm gonna, the flowers. I'm gonna wander over, I'm gonna pick Perry up and put it put them on their feet um and when i touch them um there's like a zap like if you've just gotten up off the couch in the middle of winter mm -hmm. and you touch the doorknob um mm -hmm. and in doing that i will cast protection from evil and good okay. um specifically fey yeah. Ooh. Ooh. you all hear it in unison from all of these words of light, I guess is the best way you can see them. Help, 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 help us, please. Now, GM, GM, mm -hmm. my lovely, lovely friend, Rob, uh, I... as a sailor, as a, as a man of, of the oceans, I know a siren's call when I hear one. Mm-hmm. Would this be similar to that in in the fact that it's maybe a trap? 
uh, of some kind of of these. Uh, I'm going to just call them a, wi- a wisps of light uh, are trying to will us over here. Wisps of the willow variety of the willow <laughs> tree of the like cousins of sirens willow wisp. I think oh. these are shenanigan wisps. <laughs> mm. Tom Foolery wisps. I'm Tom Fooleries. I would say, give me. Actually, oh, I'm going to ask you a question. Oh, oh God. That changes big. Okay. All right. Uh, that made me more scared than asking for a dice roll, but okay. <laughs> Go on. In your times as a sailor, mm-hmm. how many wrecks have you been in? How many wrecks have I been in? As a result of sirens or just in general? In general. Uh, I mean, I'm a, I'm a couple centuries old at this point, so... More than I'd like, more than a handful. And in those, you lost some crew, yes? Yes, I have. More than you would like to discuss at this moment, yes? Yes, indeed. Now, you continue to sail on even after that, correct? Correct. They're dead, not me. And in that, you've... There are times where you have encountered sirens and the like. Yes? Correct. So I'm going to ask you to tell me about that time that the sirens came, but one of your friends, one of the departed, spared you from that fate. Spared me from that fate. Uh, let's see. Spared me, spared, I, so I was trapped, but got spared. Gonna be, the sirens were there. There was a song coming, but somebody uh, came to you. What happened? I think, honestly, uh, it wasn't someone, it wasn't a, a member of my crew, or one of the crews I was a part of. Uh, it was actually the sound of my lady, of Ursula who thought that somewhat of my stature, of my reputation, of my growth, shouldn't be bewitched by the shrills of lesser beings, of those she deemed inappropriate for my ears. And that was the first time I'd heard her speak to me and warn me and protect me from those other lesser sea witches that try to pull me in. You have my protection from them. I will deal with them, their voices. But you, we will speak another day. As the sound from those sirens was snatched by the waves. Cantipas, love it. You know that you have this protection from things that would try to steer you away, steer you to danger, steer you to ruin, steer you to death. You 
you are also aware of what will o wisps are and what spirits are, things that are really just what once was corporeal, now not. And when they get lost, sometimes they change. Not to spirit, but to wisp. So in this, you know, these are will wisps yes. But these aren't, with no role required. This isn't something that's trying to lure you off a cliff, lure you to death, lure you to consume you, because they don't do that. Mm -hmm. They just show up and then bother you and then kill you if they can. These particular things asked you all for help. Strange, isn't it? I think in that realization, in that moment of the, the, the things clicking and that flashback happening, um, uh, Cervantes is just going to approach one and just like almost like cup it in his hand. Just be like, and it it begins to go down, mm -hmm. and you could start to feel like the tingle of electricity, and it just hovers back up. Mm -hmm. It's fine. You poor unfortunate souls. Us. How may we help you? Rest. We. Us were before taken gone now rest 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 where are the ones who are keeping you from slumber One in one hovering at a safe distance above your hand is a bright green ball of this energy. And Periwinkle, a bright white one, just sort of flows up to you. Red, help. And then just starts veering off. I don't. Away from you. How can I help? <laughs> and this blue one sort of just floats up over the shrine. And it's here. We there. And the white one sort of continues on and then just circles it sort of floats over by what you can see are like a set of stairs that go up through the cliff sides and it just sort of circles there and like it'll go up towards the stairs and back down but circle it looks like it's trying to go further but it can't and the green one sort of floats back down to Cervantes and this looks well rest 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 If I can, if I can help you, I will. No one deserves to be awake too long. Cardenas, you are aware that, depending on where this is something you've read, depending on where you are, things aren't done the right way, or like a ceremony isn't done, or the rituals aren't done. That souls don't rest. That's just how life. That's how it works on most planes of existence. If you don't do it right, they don't pass on properly. And the blue one floats over to you, Cardez. Friend knowledge. And then floats over to Joaquin. Friend. Help. More. And 
Oh. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> oh, I don't want to touch the thing, but I'm going to have to touch the thing. I'm going to walk closer to the altar. What? I will give you some inspiration to uh, help you figure out this. You seem to have a far further grasp on cultures. Eh. Mm. <laughs> like kind of like... It was like, maybe over here somewhere that might help. Guidance. Um, yeah, I just, I want to, because um, uh, DM, you said there were flags. Yes, uh, so as you walk up this shrine, because it, it is a shrine that's there, um, you sort of walk up the steps, the stone steps, it's not very mm -hmm. far, and there is a, uh, a stone altar, and on, inscribed on the top, uh, in Sylvan, here for the remembrance of right. the fallen, not forgotten. Um, are there any other markers, signifiers as to Pantheon, as to, um, if not Pantheon, is there, uh, markers for a specific god? Uh, you have a high pass perception. Uh, no, there isn't. And that's one of the reasons for the rest of you who have known of this place. This is specifically here because it's not of a specific pantheon or god. It's for people. It's for those who have gone on before you. It's a place at rest. So they should be at rest, but they're not at rest. Yes. How do we get them to rest? Um, is one of them still floating nearby? Oh yeah, the light blue one is like right next to you, and the green one is just sitting at, like right above Cervantes. Okay. Oh, um. Fine. What do you need? Touch, okay. Mm, I'm gonna regret this. I'm gonna hold out my hand. And Cervantes, you hear the same thing. Touch, okay. My goddess permits it. And will hold out their hand. And I don't know if this is such a good idea. Yeah, well, I don't have another choice. They mm. both sort of land on your hand. Now, you will both take one lightning damage. Ow! As it feels like a needle just drilling mm. right into your hand. Uh. Or does you only read about things like this, where like Will O Wisp being helpful or like trying to fix their situation? Cervantes, Joaquin, you hold these spirits in your hand, and you're both given visions, the same visions running through the woods, seeing a temple, hear, hearing something that broke's broken, looking, and then you see them look at each other, but you only see a familiar figure who's standing there, staring at the temple, and then blue, green, yellow, and they learn to look at each other. You can't see faces, you can just see the light, and then yellow gets ripped into the woods, and they move, and 
then blue, then green stops, turns, looks back, sees the one that you all are familiar with. That's not who you are. <laughs> And then you see a temple. It's broken. Moss on the walls. Vines cracking through the window glass. Black. In a fountain. The ones who did this to me, but you will pay just the same. And then you're back. Ow. The temple. We need to find the temple. They were caught in the crossfire. Earned a punishment that they did not deserve. Um, are the 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 wisps are they still there? They are. And the yellowish white one is sort of like points it sort of keeps like pointing at the steps and then comes back over to you all. Should we should we go that way? Yes. 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 Help her. Can you guide us? All right, I'll bite. I think it seems to be pulling us in this direction. Points. I'll um, let, let the, the wisp go ahead. Yeah, I'll follow it. We, we, we. Guide, guide, help you if you can. If you want rest, yes. rest, rest, yes, help. help, yes, and they all three start flying. Oops towards the stairs. Huh? Oh. Was this the original place we were generally focused on going or somewhere else? Uh, you guys were trying to get to a temple. Oh, that's okay. okay. And we saw a temple in our, in our visions. Yeah. I, yeah, we would have let, I'm assuming we would have let the group yeah. know what we saw. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not keeping yeah. secrets. That's, yeah. silly. That's some silly <laughs> shit. Silly. That's silly. Um, uh, 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 all right. I Let's just peek and see if there's anything different about this or odd. Give me a we quick perception check. Sure. Um, not that my character would know, because does anything about my character change? <laughs> I won't use that information. Not at the moment. Okay. So you're like sort of getting a good look at this. Yeah, just taking a good look in, trying to see what I can scope out. And you sort of see as uh, some some parts of it as described before. So the stone tablet with the inscription on it. Mm -hmm. uh, you see uh, around the base, just sort of they're not like inlaid, but like in like really small ornamental bowls seven different orange orbs that are just sort of sitting there mm -hmm. um with such a high perception check you do see a scorch mark on the altar itself like it looks like something tried to burn on the uh on the altar 
but it didn't take, or at least not not fully. You'd um take out like a handkerchief and kind of just wipe off some of the dust and take a look at that and kind of just put that in a bag. Take your notes on all that, and while we're walking, talk to uh, his allies about what he spotted. That now follow these wisps, these spirits, and they are a little chaotic. Periwinkle, you, you've, you've known things of this nature that just sort of, like, they don't move in a straight line, they'll, like, sort of, like, waver off and then come mm -hmm. back. But they are sort of, like, weaving and following. And Periwinkle, I think without, for you, what you initially thought of was weird and chaotic when you really start to look at it, because you know you. You know chaos. Mm -hmm. You know magic. You look at them, they're not moving randomly. They're moving in formation. Moving one, then 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 one. They're still remembering how they used to move, how they used to track, how they used to hunt. And you're following them with ease. For a forest that was so hostile previously. It doesn't seem to be at the moment. There's and a calmness here. Harry Winkle, give me an inside check, please. Oh, goodness. Okay. Thirteen. You're watching these spirits move. Fly, get their move, fly, get their help, 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 rest, help, help, rest, help, rest. And they get to what looks like a very dense foliage, and they pause for a second. And as they pause, you can start to feel the forest start to push in again. And you see them sort of hover and shake for a second, and they're nervous. And then the yellowish-white one floats back to you. Friend? Help? And I kind of like, friend, help. You've never heard the spirit side with relief that someone was there to make sure that they're okay. Ah. Help. 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 And they just sort of say help and then move to the side of the brush and then move through and you all follow. And you find yourself standing in front of a temple. A very large temple. Uh, you can see like some of the stones have fallen in certain places. Moss and vines have grown over the sides and like vines are growing in through the windows. And the glass is shattered. There's a dome on the top. It looks like some of the glass is caved in. Here. Well? I mean, like, not enthusiastic, like, very enthusiastically. We help. Show us where. And they both, like, all three of them like, go up towards the door and then come back to you and all go, open, be safe, 
How? Um, I want to run some checks <laughs> before going in this door. Oh, I think I just know. just approaching approaching the wisps and just being very gentle. Mm -hmm. Jazz will approach the door and uh, kind of inspect the frame, take a look around, see if mm -hmm. there's okay uh, visible dangers. Oh, the dangerous stuff that this is block of block blackness is presented. This is not, it's That's gonna not be safe. threatening <laughs> at all. I don't know what you're talking about. Man. I want to fly up to like one of the windows at the very least. It's, and cra it's to crazy. Peer inside. Like, you think this have a roof, not a there's a big old black chunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, there are no windows on the front of it, but there are windows on the side. So if you wanted to go to a side, at side, yeah, or right. Uh, I'm going to go to the side right. Okay. Uh, with that, we shall reveal some Ooh. area. Yes. You can see within the entirety of this thing, because it's open on the inside. Mm -hmm. Um, say again. See. Putting this out here for the record, I'm not letting periwinkle out of my sight. You <laughs> <laughs> swallowed up my trees and never seen oh, again. <laughs> tiny, oh. they are bitty and easily chomped. Well, they yeah. have the, they have protection from good and evil, right? So yes, uh, yes. As long as that that's, lasts. But also, yeah, that's ten minutes chaos yeah. from within. Mm. <laughs> true. You would oh. give them the worst indigestion. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> On the inside of this place from the windows you can see there are parts you can't quite see mm. because it's a little bit far away mm -hmm. but the glass like, even looking at the glass the stained glass the things that it should be depicting are broken and you can't quite see what like, it, there should be like a figure doing a thing but you can't see what the figure is or the thing that they should be doing, but you see the colors around it mm -hmm. and like some of the line work that's there, but the rest of it is falling. Mm -hmm. The interior of this place looks like it probably was gorgeous. It has like beautifully inlaid stone in the middle, mm -hmm. uh, stone, like nice stone tile work, uh, what would have been beautiful, uh, verdant pillars the like green like stone pillars but at this point what you see in those stone pillars are that all of them have fallen the ground that was once beautiful stone tiles cracked and raised in places there are mm -hmm. vines that are growing out of the ground growing into the windows just snaking their way all over the place glass clearly in the middle of the room something bad happened here there are pews there are people would come and sit and they've all been either moved or crushed or like just broken something wrapped around it or a vine wrapped around it and crushing it it's as if the outside came in and wreaked havoc on mm. this. The vines that are there, are they like shriveled up and, and done for, or is there still life in the, the the nature that's taking over in this area? Make a nature check for me, please. Okay. Nice. 17. 17 is a great rule. The problem is, you now know that these vines aren't just, you know, oh, doing okay. They're doing very well. Mm. They're doing too well, actively well. These things haven't just started working their way in. They've pushed their way in. They've come inside. They demanded that they be in this space. Mm. And I don't know why. 
I... Joaquin, yeah. make a perception check. Eleven. You can see <laughs> some of the things that Periwinkle has pointed out to you about what's going on inside. Curtis, you check the door just to check to see if there are any traps, see if there's anything, like, coming for you. And it's weird. This place doesn't feel welcoming, but there doesn't seem at this point to be anything that is stopping you from entering. Does anything about me change, source likely? I wouldn't know the difference, let's you, say. I would say you... I was just saying, asking for thematic, you know. You have... You're, get, you're gaining control. You have control. You have levels of control. The air here is very, very strange. Um... Give me a wisdom saving throw. Yeah. I'm tempted to do something through. Is the stained glass cracked or open in any way near me, by the way? Oh, it's very much cracked. So it's like a bunch of the pieces, like there would be like probably a figure, right? If they're like a figure size, mm -hmm. it's all like caved, like caved in. These so I could. You're, you're about what, two foot, two and a half foot? Yeah. Or two foot. Yeah, about. If they, you know, smaller size, you wouldn't be able to fit through it without like busting through a window. But I could toss something through it or cast something through the window. Yes. Uh, that would be possible. Okay. All right. Continue on. Thank you. Um, Curtis, you feel your skin start to harden, but you understand that this isn't you right now you're, you're you're reacting your body is trying to react to the outside and you sort of focus up remember your training mm -hmm. you don't have to react to the outside mm -hmm. you can control this Cervantes what do you do do, do I see what happened like, do I see anything happen to to uh uh Curtis as he touches the, as he touches the door does it, do I see him start to kind of freeze up or no like what does it look like from the outside and it, like from perspective I, mm, the physical on what Curtis he's described but the, the his action is like checking for the door like actually touching the door to see if it the door is actually ajar like it does it will open. Mm -hmm. and checking for traps. You don't see anything, but as he stands back up, the tensing starts to happen. And Curtis, what does that look like when you start to tense up? Well, as you'll notice, his, his gear is a little different from when he was in the city, in town. Uh, he's a little bit more covered. But because he's around you guys, his hood is off. Um, you can see his hair is tied back. Um what you will notice is his skin becomes a little bit darker, becomes a bit of a slight um, uh, hue to him about his body. It's a little bit of a dark shade to him. Um, his skin, you can see a little bit of it in his hand. Um, I don't know how your passive is, but uh becomes a little more scaly hmm. momentarily. And then he kind of just focuses for a moment. And Calms down. So, so Rantas, seeing that, will we'll like come closer to them and go. You will. You okay? I uh, just um moment of uh you know like the feeling of the hairs in the back of your neck. Hmm. Yeah. Well, if you want to like that for me. Okay. Well, if you no one right here, if you want to. Head and side together. I mean, can't hit both of us at the same time. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> give us some kind of give our other two a nice visual. He'll whistle a light, a light whistle, just enough for maybe them to hear. And, uh, you see, he's got 
because you're right next to him. He's got what appears to be two sword sheaths, but one is a little bit straighter, and he grabs it and pulls it out, and it's a handled yardstick. Mm. <laughs> mm. Cash. Okay. He just kind of puts his hand across it. Interesting. Low choice of weapon. And a bit looks like a kind of a blade forms around it. Interesting choice of weapon. I respect it. I just. Um, and it just slowly tries to push the door open. Sorry, Winkle and Joaquin, you hear that whistle. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Periwinkle, do you do you have the look on your face where you are considering doing a thing? I was going to toss a bobble inside to see if the vines or anything was... Uh, reactive to the movement before I do anything further chaotic. <laughs> okay, I was I was like, it, are you making chaos face? Because I feel like I would know what that looks like. <laughs> no, I think I probably have been like looking for like a, a sizable stone to toss through this window, mm -hmm. and I think I want to throw it somewhere like in like this area so you're looking for a sizable stone to throw through a window mm -hmm. um what's your passive perception passive is yeah. uh a 12. You find the stone. Okay. Joaquin, Periwinkle, make an intelligence check. Oh boy. Or you can use religion. Religion works. What's my intelligence? Religion is plus two. We're gonna go for religion. That's an eight, so I don't know shit. Okay. That's a thirteen. Thirteen will do it. Okay, Dokley. You are chaos. You are mischievous. You are a creature that goes. I can do all the things, and all the things can can be done by me. Mm -hmm. You also have an extensive knowledge of people, of people's homes, people's places. You were part of the carnival, the carnival, the most famous carnival in all of the Feywild carnival. And in that time where you interact with so many people, both the patrons who are nice, but the people who work there, the people who live there, people who have to clean up after. There's nothing worse than throwing more dirt onto the ground. Mm. After something's been dirty after a show when there's popcorn strewn all over the place and old cotton candy on the ground and somebody left a shoe you've been there when some customer who shouldn't be in the carnival has just chucked their gum on the floor mm -hmm. you've also seen how fast those people leave the carnival. You're not so sure throwing a stone into this temple. You're pretty sure it wouldn't be good. Okay. As, so you, yeah. as you go to throw and this comes over your head, you look over and you see one of the vines starts to slither. 
as if waiting for something. Mm. <laughs> did you, Akeem, did you see that? You saw it. With my 23 passive. <laughs> yeah, with your 23. <laughs> you saw that, right? Yeah, yeah, I saw that. We, uh, uh, mm -hmm. let's, let's, uh, join up with the others. Mm hmm. Yeah, no, we're gonna boot scoop yeah. buggy back around front. So you, you, you hightail it with the quickness? Yeah. Yeah, with, with, with the, the quickness. quickness. <laughs> and I will tell the others what we saw. Hey, yeah, those vines, um, they might be, uh, sentient. Joaquin, you say that as you sort of walk past around the corner and you feel as you all look back and you see a vine come down that wasn't there before, but must have just mm -hmm. jutted up. Ah, no. Stop. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna, okay. We're gonna go in and we're gonna keep our eyes open. And we're going to figure out what the fuck has decided to take root here, quite literally. Um, <laughs> That's very good. That's very fun. I'm just going to... Very hope nervous it's, laugh. I hope, it's not the last joke, it's not, I hope it's not the last joke we hear for... Oh, <laughs> I hope not. I've got a lot more up my sleeve that I would mm. like to be able to tell the court. Um, I'm going to do the thing where you, like, back up against the door and, like... Uh, me push okay. so I'm not like face to the danger so you open the doors there's an oddly pristine untouched vestibule area wood floors no vines stone archways Looks like a green marble inlay of a sun. Potted plants that are still thriving, I guess. There are uh, lantern stands, but the light's out. But the fade light is still shining. It's fine. You can see. It's very strange. The, from what you saw from the window, the rest of this place was destroyed. Like, it has so much damage, but here, it's inviting ish. It's, but there are two stone archways on either side, and from there, you can see the stone floor that has been damaged, that have vines growing through them. What do you guys do? Are there more wisps? You look back and the three wisps are just sitting there. Well, perhaps, Walk in uh, carefully. Um, rest? He, um, um, you guys have seen him look through a book before. He's got always on him. It's a book of limericks. And he says, uh, I need a front door for my hall. The replacement I bought was too tall. So I had to have chopped it and carefully looped it. And now the dumb thing is too small. I just I needed to refocus, you know. That's all. You feel, you look back and you see the will of the wisp get a little brighter. And they have like the faintest of like laughter from them. <laughs> do you guys go deeper in through these archways? Can I do a nature check on the vines to see if they react in any way to, let's say, fire? Uh, there. So are you going to go up to one of the vines and you light it? Um, are you going to stay? Are you, what, I want to stay here, but like maybe like whether it would be a nature or a history check mm. to know if I've encountered these before or know anything about how they would react to, let's say, fire. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. Could uh, save you some effort. 
Um, does, does, it, does it seem like a creature or just a plant to me? If I were to use a particular ability. Uh, well, he's... You're not sure. I'm not sure yet? Okay. Yes, I would say both of you can make nature checks. Yeah, sure. make or nature. history checks, both of you. Okay, yeah, I'm checking my spell <laughs> Nature. I was afraid to see what happens. Ugh. Fourteen. Six. <laughs> I want a guidance, maybe. Uh. Eighteen. I'll say with that, you've seen them move on their own. Now you're not sure if they are fully sentient mm -hmm. or what would be causing their sentience. Yeah. From the, two, from the two of you together, you're not sure what would cause their sentience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But at least you've seen a vine move of its own volition and you are not sure why. Mm -hmm. In okay. terms of what, like, so at the very least, and I'll say with what happened before, you realize your intent was to do something and then the area reacts. Ah, uh, okay. All right. So it's at the very least possible that if you chose to do something, something would happen. Yeah. They seem a bit reactive. A little faster than the, your average vine, though. Just great. That's perfect. That's great. Uh... Stay away from them as much as possible. No? Yeah. Mm. Could considering we're going to have to move forward to continue this little caper. I don't know if that's going to be a possibility. Well, I have an idea. What if I casted reduce and then twinned the spell so that I could reduce the size of the vines that are close to us? How many vines are on the floor? Yeah, how many vines are we looking at? What kind of? All of them. All of them. Uh... All, every single vine. How how far can I go even, with this? Even a TikTok is there too. Um, <laughs> how many? Uh, I'll I'll be generous. From the ones you saw on the outside, you saw about eight on the right side that are <laughs> pushing into the structure. Uh, from where you're standing now, you can see at least five emerging from the the stone where you're all looking out towards the right hand side you see at least five emerging from the stone and these um, would be five different vines or yeah. one one essentially all the vines are part of one you have no idea all right all right all right all right all right <laughs> cool 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 cool, cool. Right. tight 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 Wasp and Tervanta's looking from the other side. You do see a couple of massive vines. That yeah. are uh, it wasn't even like pushed through the, the glass. It pushed through the wall. Through the wall itself yeah. yeah. And has come in here. So This is some Jumanji type shit. So <laughs> oh, I, I saw that play. That was, that was very good. It was a very yes, good play. yes, yes. Uh, rest in peace, Rob and Willie Arms. Oh. Um, <laughs> I, I guess I'll go and see. I, I'll move forward. Uh, Everybody else, I guess, cover me. Are you wearing armor? Uh, or do you have natural armor? I'm all natural. Then I'm going to cast... What's your AC? Uh, 19. Total? 19. Oh, then I don't think my mage armor would be I'm helpful. Fine. Don't Don't even yeah. worry about it. I, okay. I, I was like, it. you've been giving us guidance. I'm like, what do I have to give <laughs> that isn't chaos magic? <laughs> <laughs> And I've been so kind, not forcing you to to roll about it, right? Mm. Ugh, I could have had you roll by the kids. Yeah, that's true. It's exploded the oh, children. No. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> so I uh, I will move forward down the stairs, and yeah, it's it's through. It's literally just like a threshold, a stone mm -hmm. archway threshold that you just sort of. Oh my goodness. Through. Oops. Sorry, my cat keeps playing with my wires. <laughs> <laughs> All good. Just not even like stealthing or anything, just walking. Just, yeah. Just, just taking a stroll, just yep. looking around, as acting, you, acting innocent. As you walk in, mm -hmm. you all do also notice something else on the back here. Mm -hmm. uh, or as coming through the front doors, right outside of these 
uh, stone archways, there are two fountains, Ooh. one on either side, flowing as if nothing's wrong with mm. regular, pure water. Cervantes, you don't have to do any additional thought mm. to know good water when you see it. It's This is clean. You mm. see some of like on where you where you walked in, you saw some of the vines like start to go towards it, and then stop, and then start to go towards it again, and then stop. And it's for some reason they, they just don't approach, and it's just peeking out from underneath the tile, like try. It's like, it's like a child trying to touch something, and you get to ah, ah and it comes back, mm. ah, 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 and it comes back. Something's preventing these things from being taken. As the rest of you all walk in and you sort of look, you do see the rest of this space. It's not just this massive temple. There is a, a raised dais. There is a altar there, and behind that altar is a fountain. Sure. But where behind you, you saw regular water you in front see black sludge ichor something not right bubbling up and pouring over the sides as if creating a fountain of its own sure. here it is we'll uh, quietly kind of call to uh Cervantes and say, uh, do you know, uh, this water is, uh, blessed in any kind of way, or? Just from a cursory glance, uh, it's the freshest water I've seen since I've been here. Really? Mm. Can I drink it? I mean, you could, can is, is an operative word here. <laughs> uh, you can drink it if you so choose. I wouldn't recommend it. Mm. Sometimes depends on the kind of blessing it has. Hello. What was that? I'm like hovering over the water as we're talking, and I'm like, what? What was that? <laughs> I'm not picking you up, unfortunately. Oh, it's not picking you up. As you all turn, like, sort of are trying to figure out what's happening, what's going on, you hear something constantly saying, you, 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 you destroy. Cervantes, and Joaquin. Mm. You both look in here as you are looking for something, someone enter the room behind you. And is then you see your guide. The first one who found this place. His eyes wide, his smile even wider than before. Ha! <laughs> it worked. You. You destroyed me. And you all look back at the altar and. You see a feminine presenting figure, but ye what is eight, nine foot tall woman with uh, what looks 
what would be a full afro of growing flowers and buds and leaves now looking brown and cracked and dry her brown skin looking more old what should be regal dress is rags destroyed me Is she talking to us? I didn't do it personally. You very much. Uh, are you talking to me? <laughs> like personally, is I don't think talking? I destroyed no. anything. What I would like to know is she aiming talking. this at us or is she aiming it at Damn. our buddy? If it if it's him, I, we could just leave. We could make. <laughs> And <laughs> we, could like, we could like jump him together. I'm gonna yeah. <laughs> I would I'm with it. Make a either perception check or insight check. Ooh. They will both gonna go with they perception. will both uh give different things. Ooh. Uh 18 perception for me. Dirty 20 for me. Beautiful. Nice. Hey. <laughs> oh man. Oh, mine was in dirty 20 insight. Okay. That's so, <laughs> nice. So, I'll do the inside one since. <laughs> well, this is good that you did both. Mm -hmm. The perceptions can see this is general. This is out. Uh, well, the insights can see that this is general to all of you. And it's strange because it you sort of heard a vague a vague something when you walked in but you weren't it didn't register it didn't hit but as you guys have moved closer and closer in you've heard something and now you're seeing this face spirit in front of you and when this other entity entered even though all of you were at the door, you all saw it. You never saw him come with you. You never saw him enter. But now it's going everywhere. All of you who have rolled perception, you all rolled very high. You can all see that what should be beautiful starlit eyes are blind. There's a sense emanating from her. It's the same feeling you felt in the woods, that pressure. And it's detecting who's here. It's detecting that people are here. And you all were in close proximity with this person. Before. And he just looks at you and goes, yeah, got a little on you. <laughs> Well, I see my work here is done. And you just hear from the altar, you have destroyed me, my house, everything. I will destroy you. Wood and stone will have our rebuild. And the round starts to shake. Loose pieces of glass vibrate. The small pieces that were hanging on by a thread fall from the windows and the ceiling. And the stones from the ground form. They take shape as a large elemental construct forms in front of you. As the ground shakes, I jump in here. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I need all of you to roll initiative for me. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Nah. Oop, yep. yep. Oh, yeah. I, I, I typically yeah. keep turn order out and another thing. Oh, uh, yeah. You do the thing out. Yeah, I do yeah. Excel because it makes it easy for me. Um, I forgot about that. You got to click the token on roll 20. You forgot that. 
Yeah. Yeah. Click the roll twenty token and then do the. All right, uh, Curtis, what you got? Oh yeah, I got eight. Okay. Uh, Periwinkle, what you got? Twelve. Cool. Uh, did I not make my change? Yeah. I, I, made that I love how I rolled changes. worse than the first time I rolled. Yeah, I take that, that five. <laughs> I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that five. We're gonna take that. Until five. Until yeah. the five. Yeah. <laughs> That's first roll. Yeah, take that five. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> Just gets hey. worse. <laughs> hey, Claire. Hey, Claire. Go, go last. I'm not bad about that. Cervantes, what you get? Uh, five. Okay. Joaquin, <laughs> what you get? Out of twelve. Yeah. Okay. Um, Periwinkle and Joaquin, who has the higher decks or rollies? You guys can choose. Probably Periwinkle. Higher decks. Oh, I have a thirteen. <laughs> oh, I do. Yeah, you do. Oh, okay. Nice. Cool. Kim does. I'm too tiny to be dexterous. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Joaquin the 13 to make it. Oh, yeah, Joaquin. And I am just gonna oh. add a little extra. Oh, yeah. fix it, Jesus. And I am going to roll for this little guy. He's just a little guy. He's just a little guy. Ow, ow, oh, pause, pause. That's not bad. That's not bad. And then I'm going to shuffle up this initiative order. And <sighs> he didn't roll that great. Well, that's good. Um. So with that, we're going to enter into initiative. Yikes. Joaquin, with the 13, you are going first. Hey, yo, it's me, your boy. Your boy. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so first and foremost, what I'm gonna do is sling the loot off of my back. Um, there's a big, loud, um, like, war chord that goes echoing across the the uh, the floor and it um crashes over Perry like a blast of Arctic air for Bardic inspiration for my bonus action. Hey go for it. Perry uh, and a Bardic inspiration. Bardic Yay. inspiration. It's a D eight from me. Um and then I'm gonna turn um and look at the the big guy over here. Mm -hmm. uh, just oh, buddy. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna. Oh god, I have a spell that might be helpful here. I'm really glad I took it. <laughs> okay, fifteen feet. Ah, I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm actively sweaty. I always oh get real nervous and sweaty for combat. Just, <laughs> whew. Okay, we're gonna five, we're gonna 10, we're gonna 15, and I'm gonna cast Thunder Wave. Oh, okay. At third level. Good. Nice. nice. Uh, is that a deck save? Right. Uh, that is a um, con save. Con save. Con save 14, please. All right. Um, and the the I've got I've got my loot on like one of those real nice like straps. So I give um Perry the Bardic inspiration, I fling it behind me, um, and I take my quarter staff as I run and just slam it into the ground, and you hear the kaboom. As this radiates out. It will be six. Fails. Give me that damage. Nice. That is 4d8. Goodness. And I'll be, is that, is it, I mean, I don't know if it's vulnerable or not, but is it? Is it I heard stone, so I said mm -hmm. thunder wave. Hey, I, yeah, that's what I'm asking. I'm like, is it, that was because of stone? Maybe. Uh, uh, buh, 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 buh. So uh, um, just, just for the folks at home, um, in case anyone isn't familiar with bard spells, uh, thunder wave. A uh, wave of thunderous force sweeps out from you. Um, each creature in a 15-foot foot cube 
originating from you must make a constitution saving throw. On a failed throw, it takes uh, 2d8 thunder damage and is pushed 10 feet away from me. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Unsecured objects that are complete within that area of effect are automatically pushed 10 feet away. Um, the spell emits a thunderous boom, audible out to 300 feet. Good grief. Um, this one does not say anything about um, uh, constructs, though. Oh, right. Hey, that's just shatter. That's shatter, yeah. yeah so, as this thing rings out, you sort of you slam this thunderous uh, boom. And it just sort of turns its head towards you. Uh oh. Um. Oh, I, I need to roll one more die. This, um, did it look really? Did it look like so, it got real buffed by did, that 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 hit? Did, did, like, did, did, thir did the thirteen thunder damage do anything? Did oh 13, yeah, it looked like was it was. Did the thirteen turn into twenty six? Just asking. Does it go oh, anywhere? <laughs> oh no, it doesn't move at all. Oh no. <laughs> um, it definitely looked like it did something. Okay. okay. Um, okay. But it, it, was, it did damage. It gotcha. didn't do anything extra. Extra. Yeah, okay. Okay. But it definitely did take damage. It And is now looking at you. And you've... There is... Make perception check. Uh, With advantage, because you have a high passive. Uh, uh, <laughs> Natural 20 for 28. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so with that natural 20, you sort of do your thunder wave and are... I was going to give you one or the other, but with the natural 20, I'll give you both. You look at the... Spirit, maybe? That's on the altar. And it's just looking at you. Like unsure of you. You look back at the scout that was with you before, and he's looking at you, smiling. That ends your turn? Do I have time to yell? I'll, I'll give Is you a free, free yell. <laughs> Is it a free I'll... action to holler? You can certainly Snitch. try. <laughs> um... Quarter staff pointed at the scout. Get that son of a bitch! As you let that word go, he reaches his hand, and you see what looks like an ace on the back of his hand, and he just grabs the words out of your mouth. None of you hear a thing. Did they at least see me point my staff? They saw you point at him, but you, like, you all look at him, mm -hmm. and he's like, he's like, he's like Whoop. But you know, none of you hear the words. Gotcha. Mm -mm -mm. But but we see them say words. Uh you saw the point. Okay, just want to make sure. Look, yeah, we... words were going to come out. Mm -hmm. You never saw word. You never saw the mouth move. Mm. Gotcha. You just saw the point. Gotcha. Say less. But with that, Periwinkle, you're up. Okay. I'm gonna stay right where I am. And I'm going to cast at third level, uh, reduce. Ooh. Oh goodness. Um, do, 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 do. So let me put the. Oh, can I not put the words in there? Come on, display in. Roll twenty. There we go. I can cause a creature or object. Now, does this count for constructs? Uh, it is a creature. Perfect. Um, the target size is halved in all dimensions and its weight is reduced to one eighth of normal. This reduction decreases its size by one category until the spell ends. The target also has disadvantage on strength checks and strength saving throws. The target's weapons also shrink to match its new size. While this wep while these weapons are reduced, the target's attack with them deal 1d4 less damage. Brilliant. I'm going to roll a constitution saving throw. And that is a DC 13. Yeah, roll the 22. Oh, God. No. Mother... You see the this magic try to wrap around this thing, and you hear the words, No, I must have my revenge. 
Ouch. And you see it, what looks like magical vines trying to push this in. You see the vines within it just sort of push it back out. Mm -hmm. Uh, That's your action. Can I... Can I twin that spell? Sure. And and shoot that right on over. How far can I go with that guy? How They're about far? The distance, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we'll know the far. How far the the enlarge reduce uh, extends? Thirty feet. Thirty feet. Yep, so within thirty feet of you. Um. Ow, ow, ow. Who do I want to enlarge? Who would be more beneficial? Large? Would it be? Cervantes or the big old portal <laughs> or or Joaquin. Not no, not me, not me. Cur Cur but I gotta Curtis. 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 <laughs> Got it. Curtis. Got it. All right. Well, I'm gonna spend a sorcery point so that I can cast it at third level. Or do I have to spend a th sorcery point to cast it at third level? Uh, you can just cast you, you can just cast it at third level. I won't yeah, stop you. Can you can cast it at the other thing at third level. You can just do it. Yeah, you have to if you're gonna twin the spell, you have to spend, spend the sorcery point. points to twin the spell. All right, well then I will do that. So let me spend the point. Yeah, I think it's I don't know if it's one or two. Uh, you have to take a look at that. But equal yeah. to the spell's level, so I'm gonna spend. <laughs> just spend three. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna enlarge. Uh, our friend Curtis. The same damage, right? So yeah, I bet. Uh, so in large equals one d four extra plus damage. Plus one d four extra. And you've gone from medium to large. Ah, <laughs> large <man>. boy. <laughs> I'm like so <laughs> tiny now compared to you. <laughs> Curtis gets big, um, and he's sort of like this man just grows massive, um. That's your action, but you did cast a spell of level one or higher. Mm -hmm. So I need you to roll a d20 for me. Oh, God. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. no. Ooh. You're a wild magic sorcerer. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, no. 15! 13. Okay. Chaos. For now. For now. Mm-mm. So, with that, now that's your action. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Have any movement? You know what? I just because I'm deeply interested in it, I want to go in this room. <laughs> okay. So you push the door open, mm -hmm. and there are there's too much. Uh, there's too many secrets still on the board. <laughs> <laughs> I need to clear While we're room. at it, <laughs> need to clear secrets. this room real quick. Yeah. Oops. Okay. Of course, like right now would be when my what's in that room? What is that room? Huh? Yeah. Uh, you like bust into a storage closet, and <laughs> there's like literally like a bunch of crates that have been fried open and emptied, as if somebody had looted the room, but. Mm. It, it doesn't seem like anyone was here. There uh, are some vines that are growing from underneath the things and have like poked out through the wooden boards uh, within that room. So the vines are looting. Got it. I don't like these vines. And that's honestly probably for the better. Mm. Okay. Well, now I'm in this room. <laughs> Because at the end of your turn, oh, oh boy, uh, die. We are going the the spirits of this temple is going to wave their hand and utilize a legendary action. Oh, close to listen. She's going to them. spend all of her legendary actions to utilize a layer action. She oh. doesn't have to. Oh. I know. <laughs> I got like, have some fun cuts. Right? I mean, you, we were having fun. I don't know what you were not. You were, you I, was were having, I was having a blast. 
blast. You weren't having fun before? I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm just going to say if this makes it more fun. What do you mean I need to have some fun? What is it? Right. Oh, boy, come on now. Yeah. It would be so funny if she just announces that she's using a legendary action and I'm just in the closet like, you don't have to. You don't <laughs> got it. That sounds bad for us. I don't. The wilds will reclaim you all. And she raises her hands and the vines start to move and start to react to all of you there. Oh, God. Uh, I'm going to need, because everyone is close to some type of foliage. Oh, Lord. Either growing in the ground, like moss in the ground, or actual massive vines. Oh, I wait a minute. everyone to make a dexterity saving throw. Can I cast Counterspell? This is not a spell. Dang it. Why does it gotta be Dex? It can't be like a strength save. Uh, no. You can't give me this one for all the time. Oh, man. All right. To Dex save, right? Dexterity saving throw for me, please. Good. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> hey, that's not bad. That's not bad. We'll take it. We'll take it. <laughs> Nat 20. I think it's my first one. <laughs> Nice. Hey. This works out well, except for Chris. yeah, except for this, you know. You except get advantage. No. You have advantage because you're oh, larger. Yeah. Yeah, you're massive. Uh, advantage. There we go. <laughs> That's uh, better. Huzzah! <laughs> yes. You all see? Excuse me. All these vines are whipping around. They just animate out of nowhere and start whipping and like uh, periwinkle in the closet. It just starts gouging out the roofs within the uh within the wood you guys standing on the stone structure like slide out uh joaquin one just come like whips and smashes into the pew that's right next to you uh the rest of you like back up as things start to happen and realize that you all look and that guide that came with you before is wrapped up in vines and he he just looks clearly he's restrained mm -hmm. like and it's wild like he would think anyone who is restrained would be afraid or have some sort of knowledge of what's going like show some emotion of what's going on he's just Sitting there smiling. Mm. Looks like he didn't even try to move out of the way. <laughs> nice. Watch out. As it is now the Elemental Guardian's turn. Oh, God damn it. Uh, oh, I got way too close. I got way too close. I'm also very close. <laughs> you just see how far away you are. 15 feet. And 15 feet. Hey, equal distance. Hey, I'm, hey, hey, bud. Hey, giant guy. I'm going to handle the, the the guy who's wrapped up. I'm going to rock, rock his shit. Don't attack him, please. He takes a little step diagonally such so that you guys are about 10 feet. Reach, probably. Ass. And he's actually going to bring the mall down he's actually going to move up closer to you just a little bit to who actually to whom to cervantes because you're, no. you're 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 looking kind of Whoops. stocky Whoops. i'm looking stocky i'm not i'm not a threat <laughs> i'm not sure this, this game i'm not a threat i'm just a turtle i'm just a, I'm he's, just a man he goes and Brings up his I'm maul to swing sort of down. Mm. Uh, and that is a 13 to hit. That misses. And nice. it swings into the ground, and you see four tiles, like four, like two foot tiles just crack. Okay. Okay, big fella. Okay. Mm. All right, big fella. Uh. And I'm not your enemy. I'm not your enemy. I swear to God. I swear to all. Uh, I swear to my goddess. Did not. Nope. While his body is facing you, the goddess, the spirit, looks back in Joaquin's direction. Why? And points at you. And a vine comes and tries to smack you. Oh no. 
Uh, that is a 21 to hit. That's a silvery barbs in response. Fantastic. Level one. <laughs> That's an eight to hit. That does not as, hit! As a vine sw swings into your face, and as you sort of point and go, <laughs> No! <laughs> it, <laughs> what do you say that would convince this thing not to try to kill you? Uh... I'm pretty sure it's just like a, a yell of, oh god, no! <laughs> and it just sort of stops in front of your face. Oops. Uh, uh, someone gets, who, who am I giving? Uh, 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 it, did, uh, uh, it did snap at you. Like it literally was, <laughs> and it's like, I'd say about that far from your face. <laughs> Yeah, that's a pleasant. Uh, Cervantes, you have advantage on a thing now. Cool. Uh, might need it. Might need it. Might need it. Might need it. But with that, uh -huh. Perdez, it is your turn. Okay. So I was uh, about to jump into here when the uh, place shook. So my hands were on it. And then I noticed I started to get big as I see this thing appear. Mm -hmm. I stick my... Um, Yardstick in the water and splash, as in my item interaction, just kind of just splash just this way as I run over here. You know that kind of anime slish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to run towards it. Yes. And as, as I've grown, as she's running that, because you know, stuff's happening at the same time, I start to shift and change. My body starts to come more scaly, and my body becomes a little more mutated. And my hair comes go. long, and I get like a fur. But I still have the armor on and everything. But let's fucking go. Longer. Let's go. And I go to attack this thing. Uh, my armor goes up, and I seem to get some help. I actually rolled that first. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Uh, temporary hit points here. There we go. It's at least six or something like that. They're yeah. so cool. I get that is real cool. Nice. Ten, ten temporary hit points. We take those. Ten temporary hit points. Plus one to my AC. So cool. he's, he's now 17. It's 43. Okay, cool. Run over there, and I'm going to make two swings at it, because that was my bonus action. Mm -hmm. It's my shillelagh yardstick. Go for it. Kadoosh. Kadoosh. It's 21 and 16. Wow. Uh, The 21 will hit, the 16 will not. Okay. Wow. <laughs> and you get an extra d4 because you are enlarged yeah i put it on there oh it's a five and a one <laughs> the one was the d4 well it's something as yeah. you sort of big scratch into this rocky surface with that magical damage <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> uh does that end your turn i did that action and a bonus action and item interaction and moved so that should end my turn Ooh. With that, sir. Oh boy. What would you like to do? Uh looking at the 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 Fey entity. Mm. Would it would I would I have to get closer to see if it's a magic or a curse uh affecting them? Uh because I will get closer regardless, but I just want to know if I can see like, because it, it's obviously something is affecting them. It's obvious. Yes. Uh, and you've told us about the the black sludge, and you've mm -hmm. told us about stuff like that. Is something in this room is affecting them? Correct. Uh, would I be able to tell what that thing is, or would uh, I have to interact with her directly? Uh. The answer to your question mm -hmm. is both. You can tell, like, there are ways of figuring out what it is. Mm -hmm. Uh, interact, like, or uh, figuring out what it is or figuring out what the issue is. Uh, and there are ways when, in terms of interacting with this entity, mm -hmm. of figuring out what this is and what happened. It all depends on what you guys do. Gotcha. Oh, and would like to do. I'm gonna waste the spell slot doing this, I think. Oh, uh, it's fine. Um, I'm gonna. And I'm gonna probably get hit the fuck up. Uh, I'm gonna move thirty because okay. this is this this is this is her, right? Yes. Okay, cool. I'm gonna move up 
30 feet. And I'm probably going to get rocked by the golem. It is going to swing its maul as you run past it. Please. Um, it's a fucking 15. God damn ah. it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and just seeing, because they can't see. They can't see. So. As you run up, it's as, it very much is they cannot physically see. They are mm -hmm. sensing the space, mm -hmm. and when they swing, their eyes sort of go in your general direction. Mm -hmm. But they they can't see see you. They do gotcha. know that you are have run up to them. Gotcha. But you're there. My lady, my, my voices. <clears throat> gotta do. Gotta get. Gotta get. Gotta get back in you, my lady. We are not responsible for this. And I'm going to cast Remove Curse mm -hmm. on them. Okay. Uh, and 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 I touch the like like grab hold of their 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 place a hand on their cheek. Mm. Uh, and try to wash away the ichor, mm. the decay the death and bring back the life that water does bring to all creatures that are worth it, that are worthy of it. Uh, Christian. Hey, what's up, bud? I really do like playing with my toys. But mm -hmm. when one of my players does something brilliant <laughs> and so in line with their character and the story, I gotta report it. I'm here. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I'll I, take I, it. I can't. I was like, I was, I was like, oh, maybe I'll make them make a roll and do. But you said it. <laughs> you said all that. I'm about to Moana this shit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me mm -hmm. what it looks like as you reach out and touch this creature. Like, mm -hmm. what does it look like as your magic seeps into this creature to try to remove whatever it is that is cursing them? I think as. Cervantes touches them, that cursed energy, that ichor kind of spreads to, to his hand, and then it, start, it stops at the wrist and kind of is, is fighting like how the, the plants were fighting to get to the fresh water. And as he starts to hum his sea shanty, it starts to slowly recede. And as it recedes back against her skin the pigment starts to rejuvenate and it starts to seal because uh, I will not allow a beautiful black queen to have her skin crack that's just come on now black don't crack mm -hmm. that's not right that's that's a sin. walk around ashy <laughs> I walking around ass. You get you some moisture. That's the true. Whoever did this is a true monster. It needs to be stopped. Yeah. How dare they? Uh, and and it's just it just like not it, it just it's just soft and it's it's subtle and it's 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 it 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 it's the calm after the storm and the storm of her emotions, the storm of her her punishments against anyone and everyone um, and it brings a nice clear blue sky to her heart and soul as she is watered back to life mm. and it's interesting quiet storm wbls <laughs> um. what's up new york we out here what's up new york we out here <laughs> Um, it is just that the Icker did try 
to consume you. Move a curse, gotta go somewhere, right? It covered your fingertips as you touched them. It reached up your your hand, your gauntlet. It tried to dig itself in through your skin. But then there's your shield. This one is mine. And only the waves shall take him. You need to go now. The wave pours from you. Pours over this creature. Pours into their hands and you see what would be the life of dried tree bark come back to that of a living tree. See the what looked like the, the unwarranted wrinkles of stress of pain of someone who's been done wrong and had to live with that. Go away. And the ichor washes and pulls itself through the pores of her out. It stands there. A dark reflection of this creature. And all you hear from the other side of the room is, <laughs> well, that's one experiment down. I guess I'll have to go try something else. As that other creature just leaves. But that Icar still stands there, looks and snarls, but your magic's not done. You have a wave of cleansing, and you feel the magic not just suffuse this being, but the ground within it, and you start to see the fountains that once bubbled with dark black ichor, black sludge, water pushing out all the sludge, the sludge gathering in this being, and then falling once into a puddle in the ground and seeping into a crack. And you look back. And the fountain has turned back. To what it used to be. This spirit. Still in tatters. Looks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. It is not your fault. It is not your fault, my lady. I promise you. We, we have... You, you have done a great service, all of you. I, I'm sorry. And you see that construct, this massive thing of stone and moss and vines that hold it together, sort of just bow and take a knee and put its maul up and hang its head as if sorry. But it's apologizing. We are sorry. This... 
this isn't me. This isn't what we are. The I am No. That's not fair. And she just looks at all of you. That's not fair. And she sits on the altar with another plinth with a green verdant covering with vines and stone. I am of vine. I am of stone. I am of rock. I am of nature. But I but I am And she looks angry, sad. I was tricked. By magics that shouldn't touch me. And she pulls out from her pocket Two cards. They're larger. I would say Periwinkle, you're probably, well, Periwinkle and Joaquin, you're probably the most knowledgeable of what these cards possibly look like. Heard as you read it in the book, Cervantes, you've seen many a person play with them at sea. You've seen what tarot cards look like. And she flips the cards, well, flips one of them. And just says, ruin. It destroyed me. It destroyed everything I have. She destroyed me. And she flips over the other one. And he took my name. And it just says, title. I can fix this. You have fixed this. And waving the ruin card. And she just throws it, and the guardian stands up and smashes the card into pieces. He still has this. What will you do about it? Said it was an experiment failed. You may not be the only one, my lady. Where did you meet him? Here. Did he come to you as a supplicant? Not in that form, but yes. Can you show us the face that he showed you? And with that, we are going to end tonight's session. Oh, oh! Man, the the Feywild is always like somebody is always trying to overthrow some shit. Some, I it's swear always to God. a violent. It's always a power grab. It's always some trying some do something. Back in Fey courts. Oh, <laughs> and of course, before we. 
go through our outros, I wouldn't be a student of the craft if I didn't do something just a little bit more. You can blame Mabria. She started doing this. It looked dope. I'm going to do it. Ah, yes. Bong. Yes, yes, yes. You all gather information. She tells you what features this creature had in its vague and sort of obtuse would be an easier word for it because it's not clear you can't quite pin down what this creature looks like and you understand why because you are all a fae But, some distance away, in the winter court, a man, large hat, and a black coat, pulls out a deck of cards, shuffles, and fans them. Let's try again. <laughs> I have been your DM for this evening, Mad Dr. Rob, but I can't do this alone. I had to tell the story with a whole bunch of brilliant folks. So I'm going to let them do the honors. Tell the folks who you were, who you are, what you're doing, all the cool stuff you've got going on. Yet again, we're going to go around like I see you on my screen. Uh, I'm going to start from the bottom uh, that I can see because the way it is. Uh, Matt, go for it. You are muted. Matt. Yep. Hey, how's it going? I'm Matt, also known as Res Monk Walker or Samurai Walker X, depending on where you look. Um, yeah, my character Cordez, as you can tell, has a bit of a mysterious background and uh, some thing different about him, <laughs> to say the least. Um, this is a very interesting, awesome tale, as usual, from my good best friend over here, Robert Madison II. Amazing dude, you know, just awesome in general. Mm -hmm. Um Oh, yeah, he DM, so he's uh, awesome on top of that, yeah. But anyway, uh, this story was great, and uh, I'm eager to find out more as to what happens here. Uh, my ranger uh, shifting creature here. We'll be, we'll be back. I pass it on to the next person down the line. I see Christian. Oh, hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? It's me, Christian. Okay, a fluffy Goomba all over the internet. So I'm a TTRPG performer and educator here in the space. Uh, I am in a ton of shows. Uh, uh, I, I, I don't even feel like listing them all right now because it's so many. Uh, but you can find them all on my link tree. So check that out there. And on my Twitter, uh, you can uh, see that there are signups for, until the end of the month uh, for a Star Wars TTRPG event on May 4th and 5th. Uh, we uh, are right now. Some it's like 52 applicants, I think, the last time I saw. Ooh, uh, so, but if you want to, if you want a chance to, to play some Star Wars and show, uh, show the, the, the people, uh, the palm people, uh, the blank uh, word documents, uh, that, that are stinky, uh, that BIPOC people exist in Star Wars, now is your opportunity, uh, because mm -hmm. this is this event's gonna be sick, it's gonna be great, can't wait. Uh, that's me. I I I, I was just I'm just the tortoise looking for a ship. Now I'm in the middle of some fey politics. Oh man, I'm not gonna see my lady for a hot minute. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. Uh, uh Bendy, tell us who you are. Where's your project? Hi everybody. I'm Bendy. This is Luna. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am just <laughs> over the moon and back to be playing alongside some of the most talented folks here to this evening. Thank you all so much. I got chills. I was tearing up. That was just chef's kiss. Uh, but hey, I'm Bendy. I'm one of the founding members of Obsidian Brews, a Black tabletop experience. 
Uh, we like to create space and open up opportunities and give seats at the table and just a platform to folks of color within this space because we usually don't readily get that. Uh, so if you can speak a name in a room of opportunity, do it. That is how we operate. Um, so I'm happy to be here and I'm glad that I got a chance to play with y'all. So thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to kick it over to Laura. Uh, hi, hello, good evening, folks. Uh, you can call me Laura or Tutu or Laura Tutu. You can find me on the internet, usually some iteration of Laura underscore Tutu. You might just have to throw an underscore at the beginning and the end of that, depending on what platform you are looking at. Um, I, I have been your winter Aladrin um, uh, College of Whispers bard um, whose own winter shenanigans may or may not have been followed following him from the winter court god damn it rob would love um, to figure that out <laughs> <laughs> shit <laughs> this, is, this is this is the second time i've played a, a winter court fey whose past was the problem um, <laughs> when you figure out you were the drama Oops. am i the drama <laughs> Anyway, uh, when I'm not here um, playing wonderful games with fabulous black folks, um, you can find me hanging out with fine folks over at Queen's Court Games, uh, specifically in our multi-award winning Vampire the Masquerade podcast, The All Night Society, where I play Calamity Madden, the Gangrel Lupine Hunter, um, and I, I don't know, Hillbilly Menace of Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, we have a whole big boatload of glorious things uh, coming down the pipeline for you for 2024. If you would like to see me specifically doing more vampire things, you can come hang out with me in Texas. Um, I, I have been called in by the fine folks at Jackalope Live Action Studios for the night in question. Um, the premier uh, Sabat blockbuster LARP. Um, like, Full stop, you guys could come run around in the desert and get covered in blood and potentially buried alive. I've heard rumors that you could get buried alive. Um, talk to Outstar about it. Um, they'll tell you everything. It's a wild ride and I'm very excited. Tickets are on sale now um, if you want to come hang out and pretend to be vampires with me. And I have been your DM. But I'm at Matt went first. Matt did go first. I lied. Yeah. It's past yeah. my bedtime. It's, 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 it's all good. Me too. I tried to get you all in. I wasn't going to say things until you guys were good. I'm uh, fine with it. I I am I am fully okay to always cut into my bedtime for y'all. Honestly, this has been an absolute honor. I've been wanting to do this for a minute, and I'm glad I was able to get a chance to do it. Um. But again, I am Robert Madison II, also known as Mad Dr. Rob on Everywheres. I am your director of gaming here at Obsidian Brews. Uh, also, your humble map maker. So come occasionally, you know, we'll do a map stream mm -hmm. where I will make a map. You know, you know, Monday maps with me, Mad Dr. Rob. Uh, and you can see me make battle maps, uh, world maps. I made a space map once. It was dope. Uh... And I saw somebody post some stuff about some stuff, and I was like, ooh, I could possibly make that. So I'm going to see if I can do that for them. If I can, if not, I'm going to just do it for y'all. Boom. Um, I have the wonderful honor of working with these folks doing Obsidian Brew stuff and also have had the wonderful honor of working with uh, Christian and Laura on Harlem Health Fighters Never Die over at Queen's Court. Uh, <laughs> on Raid of the Lost Tribe over at uh, Telltale Games. Uh, check it out. We told some dope ass stories. Uh, we're going with Bendy and Matt over here telling some dope ass stories. You can catch us at any con that we happen to be at. If we're at a con, come say hi. We're kind people. I think our next one is Blurred, if I'm not mistaken. Boss. At the very yeah. at the latest, you will see us at Blurred. Blurred so con. So come say what's up. We always want to have, we always want to see you, always want to play with you. Uh, at uh, April 7th, I am running a game, uh, and I will, and I will be the DM for a game over uh, on Start Playing. So if you can go to startplaying.com, 
uh, my link should be uh, most likely in the things. We'll try to put it in the description below and all that stuff. Uh, and I'll check my socials. We'll, we'll be throwing stuff up about it. Inexpensive. Uh, but I will be your DM. Uh, come to play a regular game. Be like a nice little home game for a weird adventure made by me. Um, and we'd love to have you. Love to play with you. We want to make play, want to make spaces at the table, so we made a table that you guys can join and play with us. Uh, I said I do. You know, full disclosure, it's ten dollars to play. Uh, over to start playing. Uh, operating expenses for us. Life be life in y'all. We're just trying to keep the lights on out here. Uh, but hey, come play with us. We would love to have you. Uh, our gotta thank our wonderful production. Ambe. Fantastic. Thank you, Ambe. Uh, we appreciate you. Um, and but with that, I think. We can leave the Feywild for now, and we'll see you later. So, with that, love you, thank you. Catch you next time. Bye!